It's time for the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. To me, there's nothing better than to spend all of my time out on the water. With waterman Eric Brandon. Because that's where I get my kicks out on the water. And extreme angler Joe Hector. Hey, it's my residence. Call your resident fishing experts, Eric and Joe, at 866-801-0940 and get hooked up. You know what we can spend? Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Don't want to waste my time or a single dime on something high and dry. Out on the water. Want to see the show live? Go to the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. We say hey, happy Saturday morning. Back with the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Co-host extraordinaire, great friend, Raider fanatic, man. Joe Hector. Whoa, I love that intro. Oh, man. You did like the whole Joe It's a game show hosting Joe That's Hector. Great. Love yeah. it. Love it. Crazy I have to man. change the theme song here. <laughs> What is this, the, the odd couple? Eric's Elephant even got the look. Look, in he's the got room. the suit. He's like a game show host. <laughs> For you youngsters who don't know, this, like Eric said, is the odd couple theme. Oh, we're definitely dressed as the odd couple. Yeah, we have yes. an odd couple on set. I, just to set the world straight, Steve and Jake Gray, good morning, first of all. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Back Hello, in the studio, Steven. Ricardo. Thank you, Ricardo, very much. Uh, if you're on the Facebook stream, I'm wearing a suit and tie. I've never done this in 16 years of this radio show, ever. I can see ever. It. Because after the show, I've got a, uh, could be a life-changing interview with a, oh. an unknown company, uh, an unknown person, uh, whatever. And um, I thought it was like a hot date or something. What's his name? <laughs> Starting already, huh? First of all, I got nobody to date this time of the morning. Number two, I'm, I'm dressed in this suit. I'm very comfortable. <laughs> I got the necktie squeezing my, my esophagus here. So anyway... You got to dress to impress, man. So what I'm trying yeah. to do, and it's hopefully show up and shine, man. Hey, Joe. At yeah. least, at least he didn't mention what he's really dressed for, right? We exactly. didn't get in trouble for that. Exactly. Yes. yes. Anyway, it's it's a really big <laughs> anyway. deal after the show, and <laughs> uh, I got to leave right from here. Hopefully, Penny won't uh, douse me with too much horsey fur. I like it though. I mean, you got like the blue ish yeah. kind of thing going on, and you got the baby blue. So your your color scheme, yeah, is is spot on. Well, I had a yeah. I had a personal you know dressing guy. Fix me up here. Really? Yeah. At 4 a.m.? I have a clothier who puts together my attire. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, Is it a robot? It's a... Uh, Johnny and Mac by the railroad Calvin, track. Calvin Klein. <laughs> Calvin Klein. Kick back. Kick Anyway, so uh, back to the show here. Last weekend at this time, we were sitting here freezing our asses off with a 50 mile an hour wind blowing. Yes. Broke don't the don't be exaggerating. Well, broke it's like nautical, 48, okay? It broke your nautical ventures post, okay? We fixed it. We got it fixed. Okay. But, 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 I thanks had to for your move help. my tournament to Sunday. You did. And let's talk about that real before you and, look and up. And before you move anything, can you move the mic a little closer to yourself, Joe, so we can hear oh. you? Eric's good. There okay. you go. Hello. By the way, you got blessed with some beautiful weather. The winds calmed down for your yes. tournament. Oh. It was a little knippy in the morning, but yep. uh, you guys made it, man. Yeah, no, it was it was a fun tournament. You know, I, w I wish we... The thing was, we didn't get as many sales as we would have liked, but... Um, given the circumstances and everything that went on, and we smashed our uh, Mahi Mahi division record for that tournament, which nice. which is awesome, and that's a Nautical Ventures division, actually. Yep. Uh, we'll, we'll get into more depth about that, I, get, I think, later on, but all in all, it was a great tournament. We had anglers from all over the country that came to fish it, probably the most I think we've ever had. What was there. the furthest angler from? And uh, uh, Seattle. Oh, wow. West yeah. Coast. Yeah. We nice. had two guys come from Seattle. Nice. So uh, that was really cool. In the end, we had uh, Brian Nelly, who's a consistent angler that's fished our tournaments for, man, since like 2010. Uh -huh. uh, so for over a decade. And it's good to see a, a guy like that who's put in so much into our uh, events win it. So uh, he ended up winning it. Then we had Brian Arnold get second with his sailfish. Uh, and he's an out-of-state guy. So it was pretty cool all around. Uh, it was good. It sounded like somebody just won an Oscar. I don't know. It was pretty cool, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I liked it. It was good. You know, in the end, a lot of guys lost sailfish. Uh, we, our final number was uh, we were two for 11 on sailfish. It's, and we had a morning bite that was we could have had it. Listen, dude. But that's I, fishing. I'm thinking of anybody in a kayak trying to 
land of sailfish is a challenge even to the experienced guys, sure. man. It's, it's, I can't be, I can't even fathom doing that, man. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, and, and plus tricky, the elements, dude. too. I mean, you're freezing cold out there. Yeah. I mean, it was cold in the morning with Those that wind chill. Those guys are brave, bro. Yeah. 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 I mean, I give them so much credit. But the wind laid down for you guys quite a bit, thank goodness, Thank man. God yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. We yeah. really got blessed there as well. Well, congrats, Joe, to a great tournament. Thank we you. We have two, two more ahead to plan and get, uh, yeah, you know, three. organized with three, three actually. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. good luck with that stuff. Yeah. I had a chance Let's talk some caps last night. The fishing report from uh, Miami through Palm Beach is sort of like mediocre again this week. Yeah, it's it's been this way for it's what, a combination a month? of wind and current and all kinds of yeah. stuff going on. But we have our great friend Jimbo Thomas who uh, turned us on to the new thing his wife was knitting last weekend called the uh, warmer. Uh, <laughs> what he, kind of warmer is he's, it? Yeah, he, he actually went out last weekend. Remember, he, he said, "No, I really, I really don't want to go." He actually went out on Saturday. Saturday. And he wore his warmer. Oh my what God. kind of warmer is it, Eric? I'm not talking about it, pal. Just to think about it. It, oh. cool, it, cool, it keeps the lower anatomy warm, okay? Think about that. Jimbo! Oh. Jimbo Thomas, man. Good morning, this brother. Shield. What's up, man? <laughs> hey, good morning. I'm nice and warm today, fortunately. All's good. <laughs> so, um, what was it like last Saturday out there, that stuff, Jimbo? Seriously. It was, you know, what, 30 knot winds. Yeah. Quite quite chilly uh-huh. but fortunately uh, it was coming out of the northwest so as long as you didn't get too far offshore it wasn't too bad so we you know we've been catching mutton snappers that all last week not this week but the week before and but we've been running down south to do it so i said let's just try it close to government cut because we only had a half day i wasn't sure how long we we're going to stay out there so i didn't want to get too far from home right and we started fishing right out in front of government cut, and we had some bites. We caught a nice black grouper, nice. but unfortunately, the season's closed. And we did have a couple other bites, and I moved out a little deeper, but we didn't catch them. Moved out a little deeper to the outside reef, and we were trolling to the south, and it, it wasn't uncomfortable. But unfortunately, sooner or later, we got to turn around and go back north. Well, when we did that, it wasn't so nice. So, uh, you know, going right into it, it wasn't big seas, but it was just, like, real sloppy, yeah. uh, Messy. Yeah. A, a bad chop. So, you know, it was uh, we beat our way back, but we, we had, like, five bites and caught the one grouper, and at, like, you know, probably 1030, these guys said, man, we've had enough of this crap. So, <laughs> we went in. Thank God your clients said they had yeah. enough Joe. You know what Man, I mean? Man, that right? was... Uh, where were they like, from? Were they from you. up north? I'm surprised that we even went, to be honest with you. I, I am, it, too. You know, I even told them, I said, Man, this is not going to be good. And it, it was a, a corporate deal. So these guys were staying like at, uh, somewhere on, on Miami Beach. And, uh, you know, it was a full boat, but only three of the guys got out of bed to go. And uh, they're diehards, but you know we went out there and gave it our best. But it, it was just very uh, bad conditions. Yeah. Well, but, you know we've had we've had wind this whole week. Yeah. And it looks like today it's finally the wind died down. It's going to be nice out there today. But we've had a lot of wind all week, and we we fished uh, normally this time of the year. We be catching quite a few sales you know it sounds like in your tournament if you your kayak guys had 11 bites that's actually pretty good the way it's been yeah the morning it, was hot and then it just died yep it died right well the tide might have changed who yeah. the heck knows yeah but um I'm, I'm actually up in fort lauderdale right now and we're fishing a little sailfish tournament we fished yesterday and we're fishing again today and there's i think 16 boats in this tournament and yesterday there was about 15 fish caught out of 16 boats okay um, wow. t- top boat has uh five sails which is pretty good and then there's two boats with three and a couple with two uh-huh. we caught one uh we've got the largest dolphin of the tournament a 20 pounder so far Oh, nice! And nice. Uh, we had we had a couple kingfish bites as well. Uh, nothing. They got to be over ten pounds for this little tournament. So none of our kings were that big, right? So you know, it it wasn't great, but you know, uh, all things considered, we caught a sail. There's a number of boats that never saw one, so you know, just getting getting one sail by and catching one. Now today's another day, of course, and there's not going to be any wind, or I don't know if there's going to be enough wind to fly the kite or not. So, 
I hate doing the helium balloon thing, but it looks like that's what we're going to do, or at least attempt to do today. All right, man. You know, the dolphin bite, ha- though, has been pretty good. Like he just said, he got a 20-pounder. You know, we had a 20-pounder. We had yeah, a bunch of them. Yeah, nice. I wouldn't say good. There's been more of them around than what we had been seen. Right. And I attribute it to that east wind that we had that has pushed everything in close. Yeah. By the way, guys, uh, your wind forecast, calm right now, but becoming uh, northeast in the afternoon, 9 to 14 miles per hour. So you'll get your wind back in the afternoon. There you go. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, 14 is okay. 9 is still pretty light. <laughs> but uh, I think there's a little front coming, and it's supposed to stall somewhere. You know, they don't know where. But, Maybe uh, like around here. You no, know, <laughs> well, that's a good possibility. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's, it, they could bite today. Who knows? And the guys said went north, so we came out of Port Everglades, and, you know, we, we flip a coin, go left or right, north or south. And I went south because that's the area that I know much better. And a couple of the guys did go north, and the guy, the boat that has the five sails was up north. I don't know if they're at Hillsboro or Pompano, you know, Beach or even Palm Beach, for that matter. Right. Um But there were some boats that went south that caught a couple as well. So there's no right or wrong. It's just right place at the right time. And some of those guys that went north never caught one as well. Jeez. All right. Well, Jimbo, you you fishing, I guess, uh, today? Staying on land? Taking a small boat out? No, we're fishing this uh, this tournament 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 today. Where the hell have you been the last five minutes? (laughs) Man, I've been... been, Come on, Eric. I I have this tie I'm wearing on set, and it's choking off my brain cells, dude. Okay, What little is left? What's left, yeah. So... (laughs) <laughs> I got a little blood issue going to the brain. But anyway, Jimbo, good luck in the tournament, man. Catch some sailfish, my brother. And thank you, as always, Jimbo, for the fantastic opening to the show, dude. Jimbo! Jimbo! You got, you got it, guys, and great. Good luck out there fishing, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Joe, got a brand yes. new sponsor. We'll just say a quick hi to. We'll Ooh, talk about it later on, man. Let's talk about it. People's Insurance Online. Man, what mysteries are there when you open a boat policy or a home policy, you look at that paperwork and you go, what the hell is this? Yeah. You, know, you don't know what oh, the yeah, you, you go got. cross-eyed and cross-eyed. Then I, I get into like a fetal position. Yeah. Thing. It's depressing and it's, yeah. it's, it's hard. Right. Well, Jose and Jackie DeBasa, who own this company, okay. are going to explain it to you like you know, line by line, make it simple, make it easy in layman's terms. Like a baby. Like a baby. Right. Give you some great coverage at a very, very reasonable price. Okay. Uh, Answer your call, like immediately after you call, as opposed to putting you on hold or having somebody... That is important. Like Bangladesh, say, hi, this is Billy. Yeah. Okay. So uh, they're going to do it for you, man. So we'll talk about it later on, but welcome to the show. Great new sponsor. We appreciate your business. Thank you, guys. And thank you. We love it. So, Joe, you're dressed in that Raiders shirt, dude. I mean, you are a true, faithful, hardcore, uh, diehard, man. This was a birthday gift from my wife. She ordered ordered a uh, playoffs Raiders shirt. That Uh, is cool, dude. Yeah, it's got playoffs, got the the date, you know, they went, and the wild card. So, uh, I'm excited. I I really wanted... So, I've always wanted a division title shirt, and uh, it's been a long time. (laughs) But uh, right, don't instead, start, she got me that. The, the clock is, is running late here. Oh, here we go. You okay. just keep waiting on that, Joe. Okay, just keep waiting, Joe. Easy there, buddy. We got a head coach, <laughs> okay? Dolphins. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh. And the Dolphins may have one in 2033. So, <laughs> you guys stick around this morning. Everybody, hello to you yes. at Fox Sports 940. Live! South Florida fisherman. <laughs> I got you there. I'll be hanging. You'll be hanging and banging. Hanging and banging. You no, know, really, we have to wear that suit. You're killing us, man. It just, this looks like some type of mortgage show or something. Dude, I'm, I I got a big deal after the show, bro. I, you, I, can't you put like a fishing rod holder or something in that suit? You just, we got to, we got to change that up a little wait, bit. Wait, wait, hold on. I got a your hey, shoulder pad. A little, little lint there? Yeah, I'm just getting. The shoulder, right, oh, shoulder it. pad lint. Thank you, Joe. Thank so, you. so Zarumba's back, huh? Alan Z's back, man. He oh, made it, yeah. tell him about the catfish I sent you. Did you send that to him? No. <laughs> Sorry. I missed that. You see, this is why, guys. There this is go. why Point he always makes again. fun of me. Pointy fingers again. Eric never sends him what I send Eric to show him. You're not always top of mind in my life, Joe, just so you know, pal. I got should a job be. and things I to should do, be. Okay? okay? I should be at least well, number... that was kind of insulting, Joe. I should be at least three. We do insult each other quite often. Yes. Uh, Boucher Smith is watching this morning at 6 a.m., he says. Ralph Rennick, howdy. Ozzy Ochoa, your man that went to the, went to the Ozzie! tournament. Ozzy! Ozzy's cool, man. Scotty Lewis has got us on. He fished the tournament, you know. Who did? Ozzy. Oh, I, I knew you went. I saw him at the party pictures. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how do you do? 
Uh, I, I don't think he got one. I, th- I think he lost one. Actually, oh, he, he had a sale. I, he was. I don't I know. believe so. If you're watching and listening, Ozzy, leave a comment. I, yeah. I think you lost one, right? Let me know. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. But uh, the after uh, awards thing was cool. We gave out some cash, man. Some yeah, man. Nautical Ventures money was given out of here. Yep, yep. They want uh, uh, SA second or, place. Was it Railblazer with the big number? And uh, uh, Railblazer had first place prize, the five thousand okay. dollars. Cool. And um, we had the five hundred dollar Mahi Mahi division. Yep. That went to Roy, and uh, that was big because that was our... We smashed the record for that division. So. Outstanding, man. Uh, and then second place, Nautical Ventures donated the 2000 for right. Brian Arnold. He was the out-of-state guy that won uh, second place in the It's tournament. pretty cool. If you guys don't know what Joe does, he does the FCAT series, and he does these pre-parties. He's got food and wings and brew and eh, big Ye- Jaeger shots and stuff going on. And uh, then he puts on a tournament, and then afterwards they all gather together. He hands out some prize money, some yeah. shirts, some nice bling, whatever else. And yep. Was that the rec- that had to be record setting coldest tournament you've ever had? Correct. That was, yes, and that was no. also the coldest we've ever had. Yeah. Now, what was the what was the uh, I know the air temperature was cold. What was the water temperature? By the way, it had to be a lot warmer. Oh, it was a lot warmer. I think it was like it was seventy something. I mean, not that you want to get wet and come back out though. No. No. I mean, my feet got wet when I was helping. We were trying to help. We had a couple flips, actually, in the surf. Because there was... Ah, damn. Yeah, well, there was one... It was really weird. There was, like, one little wave that would come up. And it would come up, like, out of nowhere. It's a little breaker? Yeah, and it would just hit them. Like, right when they were about to, like, either jump on their kayak or, like, uh. they just got on it. So we had, like... I think we had, like, three flips. Oh, man. Um, But we, you know, we had our guys there. The... the the guys were helping everybody. It was it was cool. Here's an answer to your question from Ozzy. Ozzy goes, no, I didn't fish the tournament. The You're listening to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I know everybody says money can't buy happiness, but it can buy me a boat powered by Mercury Marine. It can buy me a truck to pull. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln, an easy way to car. And the fishing buddies everybody needs, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. You're hooked into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, you is, baby. ba 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 boom Bad to the bone. do 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 Welcome back to the show. Joe Hector, Stephen J. Gray, Ricardo back at the studio. He was over in another South American country. He made it out with no COVID testing times 10. Nice. And uh, hit it, quit it, and get it. Got okay. it. Okay. And he's back in town, dude. Very cool. Our good friend, No You sent him the thing I told you, right? To send him? You uh, said you did? Yeah, I sure did, yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. So we'll talk about that. Did, did not. Yeah, figured. Oh, jeez. Are you playing this song in his honor <laughs> already, man? <laughs> the wreck of the Alan Zaremba. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, Big Al. Welcome back to town, man. We're glad you made it back, baby. Hey, hey. Hola, como esta? Si. <laughs> Muy bien. Y tú? <laughs> si. Todo <laughs> bien. <laughs> so, how was your trip down, back down to out of country? Did you catch some fish? What happened over there, buddy? Well, it, it's... Uh... <laughs> It's it's been a killer season uh, this year for especially in Colombia uh, for the for the peacocks. I've had probably I've seen the best fishing over the last two months that I could ever remember down there. Right. Um, the only negative about this trip that I can say was the top water bite wasn't on like it was a couple of weeks prior, and uh, we had to use more subsurface. But some guys still caught some on top water and and uh, actually used some of my smaller top water baits I use here in Florida, uh, the mirror prop which I adjust and take that front prop off and uh, work it kind of like a torpedo. It's a little bit bigger, and it casts a little bit better on a, on a bait casting rod. Right. And it did very well down there. So so uh, it's just it's just I've had one jamming trip after another, and, and this time I, I tested negative when I came out of the jungle, and all was good. I'm actually home and back. Wait, at, wait, wait. Uh, uh, back. You tested negative for COVID, or what did you test negative for? Oh, man. Oh, I'm saying. Here we go. You know, you're, you're down here there with those, we go. those lovely senoritas. I'm just curious whether, you know. Yeah, yeah, that little, uh, that little shiny mirror lure trolling down there. Oh, we had some candy. <laughs> that some can- thing a little tough on me. I mean, come on now, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm still waiting for those those photos for the Arab Pyman. I can see. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? 
I failed you, Joe. You know, okay, Eric, I, I keep failed you. I keep giving Eric content to send to you. And no, you're giving me I, homework, man. Okay? I find out unconfirmed he, content, by yeah, the way. That he doesn't worry. send you anything that he says he will send you. None so. of your photos have got time stamps or any kind of location, oh, GPS oh coordinates. They're going to be Here taken like go. in New Zealand, bro. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Thank so. you, Stephen. You uh-huh. agree nice. with me once in a while. He's Let's not agreeing. Back on it. A year ago, a year ago, I gave Joe my phone number on the radio. What? Loud and clear. <laughs> I remember that. He just has to go right to me. He's thinking of so, the other uh, Joe. You know, you know, the old story, you know, the uh, money talks and the uh, the other stuff walks. Yeah. Can we find this episode, Stephen? Because uh, I, I don't... <laughs> I don't I, think I, I do remember. I do remember him doing. Eric, no, you. I mean, are, are I mean, you like, are you like Bill now? I just said Eric because I'm so Clinton? used to yelling at Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't recall. I don't recall. Is that Bill Clinton? In right. here? Well, I, right. no, let's walk away, Joe. Wrong person. Tell, tell him. Tell him what I found. How interesting! You was found this? some damn photo of a fish. Photo? What do you? All right, let me explain. Un- unconfirmed this. photo uh, of it uh, being uh, in Florida. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was. We had that big cold front, right? Right. So I took Mia uh, to the lake that's by my house. It's like a pond. And we were walking around. I wanted to take her, you know, catch a little peacock if we can. It was it was still the morning, so it was like really cold. And I found I found four dead. Stop. And I took and I took video of it and, and sent it to Eric. Yes, you did. Did did I not? You did not. I Yes, what? you did. Four oh. dead one. I found dead. four Star Bright Buckets. Dead. <laughs> um I now this is what I believe they are. Eric, do you still have it so we can send it to No, Steven? I don't have it any longer, no. Of course you don't. I don't have it. So, so they no. um Nine, shovel nose four, shovel zero, nose nine, catfish. Three, six, seven, one. They're shovel nose hybrid red tail catfish. I found that's, four dead ones. Well, if you have the that's photos on your phone, Joe, you can send them to Alan right now. He I'll give you his number, yeah. okay? I'm gonna. Yeah. We, we should send post those this. To him, okay, pal? we need to post this. Whatever. I mean, this is unbelievable. We, we have a limited amount of time on the program. Of course we do. You know what? Hold on. Make believe fish. Okay. I, I gotta find it. It'll take too long. But <laughs> it was it was strange. It was weird. I'm I'm sad that they're dead. Yeah, One I, of them was like this big. You described the show perfectly. It was, it was strange bigger than. Uh, yeah. It was at least yeah. like two pounds. Great. But they were babies, at which means they're breeding in there. This is shovel nose catfish, man. Hey, by the way, can I say how cool is it that we have an international fisherman? Again on the show, Alan Z fishing the world and giving us the details on us. I think you know how badass that is. It is badass because he's badass. Of course. Well, so, I'm, uh, I'm here for three weeks, and then I go back to uh, Colombia again uh-uh. fishing for for those guys again. So, and then in April I'll be in the Bahamas fishing for bonefish. So, so I'm getting around. I, you ever hear that song? I get around. Yeah, I hear that no. uh, wallet you're just growing by the minute, man. Nice. Anyway, Al, <laughs> uh, in about one minute, man, tell guys what their best shot for catching bass, peacock, uh, snakeheads might be for the weekend, man. It looks like the weather's going to be be spot on great. I don't know. The weather's looking good. So uh, I expect that these fish will get going again a little bit uh, after this cold blast my wife told me about. But I, I unfortunately did not get to experience those 30s I heard that were around town and, and that bit. But, you know, some fish will get killed off in the outer areas. But the, overall, these fish will bounce back quick. And you're not going to see any real depletion in, in the population. This isn't a, this isn't well, like we had six weeks of cold weather. A yeah. couple of days is not going to kill them off big time. So we'll be, we'll be fine. It's going to be great. And, and uh, just remember my Bagley minnows. And Joe, Joe, for you, nine five four six zero nine. <laughs> hey, hey, Alan, Alan, quick, Alan, quick question for you. I was in helicopter yesterday flying over the Everglades, and I noticed it's still high tide in the Everglades. Why isn't the water coming out? Are they still pumping water in the Everglades? South Florida water mismanagement. I mean, management oh. is, is oh, very shot control there. of that. Yeah. They're in control of that. And no, I, I no, honestly, I don't blame them for all the problems. They they have a very difficult thing where they've got to store water for for people. They they And if they store too much, they get in trouble. So, yeah, it's easy to blame them. But I'm not sure why they're holding it all this year. Maybe they're figuring we're going to have a big drought this uh, this summer. I don't know. Yeah, because it hasn't been raining that much, and the water's still high. Yeah. Well, basically, yeah. what they're, Alice, holding- they're making sure that Ron Bergeron's canal is exactly where he wants it to be. <laughs> So, you know, that may be. Okay, that so may be. you know he's, he he pulls a lot of strings around here, so it's an inside thing to those who know he's who he is. He's the only one that's got a house on US twenty seven in that <laughs> that area for miles. So you know he's special. All right, now we we got to rock, man. But hey, have a great day. I'm glad you're back in town, man. Seriously.
Thanks, Alan. Yep, I'll have a full report next week on local fishing. So uh, I'll get you up to date then for what I'm seeing. Okay. You're the man, dude. Hybrid red tail slash shovel nose catfish. Oh, God. Hey, during the I, break. Well, I don't want to see the era prime of pictures I was promised. We did okay? get sent. That's didn't you, know. you send them to the. We got them. Oh, my God. 954 3671. All right. Thank you. Goodbye, Al. Um, during right. the break, why don't you send them those photos of the floaters you found? Thanks, okay? friend. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> and, and the ones also in the pond. Okay. Oh man, did you get that? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got it too. I got it. Everybody, good morning to you, man. Uh, Facebook streamers were at Nautical Ventures Facebook page. Log on there if you would please, and share if you care. Yes. All those folks at nine forty driving around town. Thank you very very much. We'll come back. Love with you, uh, Danny Ramos. Ooh, my man. He's back on deck doing a trip this morning. Ooh, oh, All right, six twenty five at Fox Sports nine forty live. And by the way, those floaters have something in common with the Raiders uh, season. Uh, <laughs> we made the playoffs, and we beat the Dolphins, and we have a head coach. I'm, wa- I'm walking off after that right and now. And a competent I'm, I'm owner. Take- Bye, Joe. I'm walking off for a minute to take a break. Okay, I need to get away from your ass. Speaking of that, I gotta use a bathroom. Oh, did I say that on the <laughs> Sorry. Number one Toyota dealer in the Southeast region. Based on total new Toyota retail sales for 2021 for Southeast Toyota distributors. Who saves you money? Shop the number one at alhendricksontoyota.com. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're People's Insurance Underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. You love your boat. You love the water. But you'll love them both even more with a new Mercury V8 four-stroke outboard on the transom. The four-stroke's 4.6-liter V8 powerhead delivers exhilarating acceleration and top speed with uncompromising durability and reliability. While its advanced midsection and undercowl noise management create the smoothest, quietest ride on the water, the 250 and 300 horsepower four-strokes are famous for superior hole shot and fuel efficiency. See your Mercury dealer today for the exciting 250 and 300 horsepower four-stroke outboards. Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines, to keep their electronics going, week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, then count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries. The sound of confidence. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. Olivia here. Looking to keep your skin bright and hydrated during these cold winter months? Olay is here to help, starting with their vitamin C moisturizer in that beautiful orange jar. It gives you two times brighter skin versus a basic moisturizer and corrects the look of uneven tone and texture. Then there's Olay Micro Sculpting Cream. It's made with 99% pure niacinamide and hydrates better than that $100 cream. Buy Olay now and get $2 off a facial moisturizer. Find both at retailers nationwide and olay.com. Check your local newspaper for coupon and more details. Hey team, it's a full house. We gotta pick up the pace. At Hank's Restaurant, the line goes around the block. Is this for 12? Okay, I need the truffle oil drizzle. What he needs is another line cook. Oh man, are the quail breasts still in the sous vide? Dave, can you keep an eye on that please? Uh, Alright, we're back here. I'll say hello to anybody real quick. Oh, we will do that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, deep, 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 deep. 
Oh, Captain Deb Deo says, your clothes are your strong suit. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. Those who may be punching and wondering why the hell I'm wearing a, I'm going to a wedding outfit today. I've got a, a big uh, little uh, interview thing after the show that could uh, benefit me down the road. The career thing, I don't know, I'm not going to give away too much here. What? Tell me. No, nothing, I'm just making sure, is the tie straight, man? Is my tie straight? Oh my gosh. Is my, is my knot right? Nope. Am, am I knotted right? Nope. Huh? Nope. I mean, no. I'll put your ass in a suit one day, man. Say you like working doing a this suit. Show. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I actually own three, so I, I could say that I've, I've definitely got myself prepared in case I have one of these moments in time. Hmm. But normally, you know, I work. I'm in shorts and uh, you know. I have a hybrid Columbia, suit. Columbia, you know, fishing shirt kind of thing. What now? I have a hybrid suit. A hybrid suit. Well, what, when I worked for Billabong that? at a college, I had to for my internship I had to for the first day when they were the hiring process you know you had one of those suits is really weird because you know you always have these you know, big arms you like to show you. off you got the the suit that's got the arms cut out correct it's, short it's, sleeve it's, it's neat man yeah it's kind of cool you no know. shoulder pads you let the, I don't let, need the, let the big bumps come flying out of there and it's right. it's really neat man yeah An interesting uh, design well you're a, you know art school graduate so it's probably some of your ingeniouses uh, it's, art. Designs. it's art it's art <laughs> Found the secret spot to get your fishing in. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I wanna go fishing. Powered by Mercury Marine. I don't ever wanna stop. With Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Anything you want to know about fishing or boating, troll us at 866-801-0940. Holy cow. This is more serious than I thought. Watch the show live on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. We'll certainly look forward to that. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Talking fishing on a Saturday morning for 16 plus years. We say, hey, baby. 16 years. 16 man. years talking fishing every Saturday morning, man. Wow. It's a great long record, thanks to Nautical Ventures for yeah. having the vision to keep this thing going. Let me ask you: with the first show, right? Yeah. Was it? Was it? Yeah. Yes. Was it like? Dang, stop. Yes. Was it? So was it? Uh, like what happened? Come first, on. The very first show was a Jim Mandich, uh, the late Jim great Mandich. Mad Dog was Love there. Love Mandich, man. He actually brought the show on. He had me, um, Steve Waters, and Sue Cocking all together in one studio. Okay. And the Sue? mics go on, Who's and we that? had we Who's had that? Sue, yeah. Sue, what's the last name? A boy named Sue. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> we, we 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 all just said, okay, let's talk fishing, and they, they, that's where we are today. It's mo it morphed a little bit. She's gone, and he's gone, and now you're here. Wow. You're the she's man. gone. It sounds like and a Hall & Oates song. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. Ramos has got a fishing uh, charter, man. We can't hold him up to it. We have to get him on the phone here, okay? Get him on the what? The fern. Okay. <laughs> stop, stop it, Joe. Don't do that to me. I think the air's getting cut out of his brain, Joe. Get him, get him on the fern. <laughs> Danny Ramos on the telefono, amigo. Como esta? Hola. That was good. <laughs> buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos nachos, Danny. So you're heading out for a day charter, baby. What's going on, dude? Yes, sir. Gonna, gonna go out and uh, get back out there. So I caught the bait yesterday, found the bait. And gonna go and give it a shot today out um out here out of Miami. So let's see what happens. Uh, the bite's been hit or miss from what I've seen from my uh, captain. Uh, I've been out hunting for the past you know week and a half or so, so I haven't really been out. <laughs> but I've been getting the report. Uh, hey, your your duck collar last week it was classic. That was awesome. That was that, that was, was that, that was, was great, awesome. dude. That was great. Yeah. Oh, so. but I was freezing in the duck blind, bro. Last <laughs> week it was. <laughs> oh, man. Did, did you catch anything, Danny? Did, did you catch any you ducks? You don't catch ducks, Did you Steven. catch anything? Is you, that what you just said? You don't yeah. catch ducks, Stephen. Wow. Okay. Yo, oh, well, did you... What's the word we use? You, uh, what we, is, we, no, what's the dis, word? We dispatch them. Dispatch, yes. Thank you. We dispatch them. Kindly, Kill anything? Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. We just got muted on Facebook sorry, again. Sorry. Nice job, Joe. I couldn't help it. D did Danny answer the question? <laughs> Danny, did you get some ducks, man? <laughs> we got a few teals. Uh, we got a muddle dog. Uh, we did pretty good. We did pretty good. I thought we were going to do better, but, I mean, I don't know. I guess the ducks were pulled as well from where, where I was at. They wanted to <laughs> down with the wind. I think it was blowing like 20 knots uh, the day out. We were on, last Saturday, we were on the fall. The next day it was gorgeous, but it was colder than the day before. 
So I think uh, from where I was hunting, they were they were holding. You know, they didn't fly as well as I thought they would. But. Oh, it's funny. While you were in a duck, a duck blind, Jimbo Thomas, uh, the Thomas Flyer, actually braved that weather last weekend, Danny. He went out and said it was really miserably cold. and ugh. He got bites. He got bites, but his clients Crazy. said, Let's, we're going in, man. Yeah, they were done. They were done, yeah. So anyway, Danny, so yeah. what, what are you targeting today, man? What's your, what's your species we're looking for? Uh, today I'm going to be working on any kind of a color change, you know, anywhere between 250 down to about 90 feet. Just yeah. working... Uh, that, that area, uh, you know, the edge. Okay. I got I got couple of light bait. Just gonna be chumming, just chumming light bait and drifting and see what we can get. I mean, there's, you know, I, I know I've got a couple of my guys. Uh, they caught a few mahi actually this week. They, they trickled on there through. So hopefully, there's a mm. little wave that comes through today or some some nice mahi. They got some nice gaffers. Uh, and they caught a couple of sales. Uh, how, how did that sailfish tournament go, Joe? Uh, that that it, day. Did- Get yeah, it was, it was good, man. I mean, we had our opportunities. They, they, in the end, they finished two for 11, uh, but we got some big mahi as well. And it was it, all around, it was a great tournament, but it was tough in the morning right. as a help boat. We're out there and, and we're going from guy to guy who's hooked up. Right. So you're watching the sails jump and they're fighting them and then, oh, lost. Lost again. Yeah, lost again. And sucks. after the fifth one in a row, I'm like, oh my gosh, man, like we got to, come on, guys, we got to land these fish. So is a landed fish one that gets next to the kayak and actually grab the grab bill. the lead grab the leader, grab the leader. yeah they got to touch the leader okay cool yeah. yeah oh that's good though but they had their shots at them that's great yeah yeah and we got a lot of content from it too like we got the sales jump in and yeah. all that so cool. it was good it was good tournament oh, solid definitely yeah so that's that's basically what we're gonna try today uh and uh it's a, it's a nice half day charter for me and then uh so let's see let's see what happens i'm just gonna you know Dump some light baits out and, and, and work the edge different water columns there on the edge and see what happens with it. But uh, it's good to get back out now again. But yesterday I got out there, blue was running good, found the bait instantly, man, and netted a bunch. So I got like a good, you know, 10, 15 dozen uh, live, nice ice filters nice. that I, I, I can uh, chum out there today. Hey, Danny, I titled a Facebook post last night, uh, Fishing's Fantastic in February. Do you like this month as being one of your favorite months of the year to fish, or are things going to get be- better from here, or what? What do you think? I did well. I did well last year. Uh, this, in this month, I caught a real nice wahoo last year. Uh, we caught some fish last year. My, my sport fishing was really good out of February last year. Right. So, pretty stoked for that to go to the grounds. I got I got a sort of fish charter on Monday. And, uh, but yeah, I got all my logs and all my pictures and stuff like that from last year on this time. And, and it was good. It was good. Some nice, nice wall while I was catching here out of Miami last year. So, uh, I'm going to do that too in the morning. First thing, you know, troll, troll my planer that I like to do. And, uh, and then hopefully I get a lucky with a nice zebra. So, but I mean, yeah, February was pretty decent. It keeps, a, uh, keeps a captain's log. Uh, Joe, do your best uh, Captain Kirk impression of uh, captain's log. Captain's log, start eight five four six point seven eight. <laughs> I'm going fishing for some wahoo today, and so far, I haven't caught anything. So... Oh, my God. Scotty, beam his ass out of here, man. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anyway, uh, Danny, man, good luck. And real quick, man, uh, we haven't done this in quite a while, man. Give folks uh, the best way to contact you for a day charter, man. Get, get your boat loaded uh, up, bro. Sure. Uh, well, you can follow me on Blue Dream Fishing underscore on Instagram. Uh, Facebook is Blue Dream Fishing, or you can go to my website, bluedreamfishing.com. And right there, you can be happy to ask me any questions you want on my inboxes or on uh, on my website. And uh, that way we can get you out there, get you tight on some fish. Let's have a great time. Uh, no. And, and, uh, and that's what it's all about, man. What? Wait, real quick. How deep is he? What? What are we? No, wait. What were we? Little, 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 weren't we going uh, for swordfish sometime soon? It, it's coming up soon. What yeah. happened? Yeah, it's still coming up, dude. It, it's up to Eric. Eric. Eric no. Oh. No. 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 The no, we're truth going, we're comes going, out. No, we're going out on Ooh. my Wednesday midweek day off, okay? Uh-huh. But you've got to get your clients coordinated. Which I did. And Stephen J. Gray's got to get his day coordinated. Yeah. And it's not just like jump in a truck and go. we got to plan this thing, dude. Well, I did the first time. Yeah. Well, I see you have your suit, guys, Eric. I'm ready to go. Whenever you're ready, let's, let's do it. We we had it there. And then, hmm. Eric, I mean, Eric got tied up, you know, with work. And- really? Yeah, I get a little tied up with work. Eric got tied up with work. You don't even have a license to fly that, okay? Wow. Okay. Anyway, Danny, 
kick ass today, man. Do Thanks for the truth, dude. buddy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. You guys have a good buddy. See ya. He, he's the best, man. He's hardcore, man. Yeah. By the way, if you're going to go fishing with Danny, yeah. he doesn't stop till you get your fish. So just be ready for that unless you I, want I can to say it from experience, man. A five-hour trip turned out to be a 10-hour trip. He does not come in until oh. there's fish in the boat. I love he wants that. you to be happy. Okay. I love we it. We don't care how much you wussy side of... Uh, side, uh, Huh? Wussy thing, okay? Huh? Oh, come on, Danny. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm tired. Oh, no, no. we're catching something. Does, go to the front of the boat and lay down. <laughs> we, we ain't coming in, okay? I'll wake you up when the, when the rod bends, okay? He's a true pirate. Oh, Love dude, him. he is hardcore. He's Seriously. a raider. He is, man. Yeah. All right, so I'll take a little break uh, in case folks are tuning in wondering why the hell I'm dressed in a suit this morning as I have something very important after the show to do. Game show. I would never show up to a Game show? fishing radio yeah. show, you know, dressed like uh, Jim Nance calling a golf tournament. Okay. You're interviewing for the Miami Dolphin job, right? Oh, no. No, he didn't. Oh. <laughs> they they haven't got anybody... Or, or is it the GM job? They haven't got any picked yet. I, I could do that job, I think, as well as anybody else that you've had so I, far. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they put you, three of us in charge of right. that. Right. That'd be one don't of put coaching, me in the coaching. Don't put me in this mix. All right. Oh, that's right. You, you do some side stuff. We'll take a little break. Captain Bounce of the Legend coming up next, man. Hang on here. 640 on the nose at Fox Sports 940. Live. <laughs> you staying or are we walking? I'm staying, man. No. I already walked out and got Penny's poop on my shoe, man. I ain't going back out there again. So Here's realistically, nice shiny yeah. when do you think we'll be doing the swordfish thing? Uh, it's going to be based on what the weather forecast is going to be. Correct. That's always number one, right? Because yeah. with tournaments with you, you know, yes. the forecast is important. Yes. The uh, clients is the more important. Whether or not you can reschedule clients is important. Right. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of BS here, whether, talking about poop. Whether Stephen J. Gregg get out of the helicopter quick enough to you know, jump oh, on the boat. Oh, Stephen. Well, have me fly over the helicopter, have him rappel down to the boat. You know? There you go. That'd hey, be pretty cool. You know, Stephen, real quick, have you ever like had a crazy experience in the helicopter? Uh, like what? Like mean landing I don't know. somewhere? You tell an emergency? Me, like, has anything ever happened where uh, you were like uh, legitimately had, scared? Uh, we've had a few things here and there. I really can't talk about them, you all can't? of them. But uh, yeah, we had a, a couple close calls. You wow. know, that's crazy. Yes, you never know when you're in a helicopter what can happen. Generally, they're very very safe. Actually, it's probably a higher risk of you getting to an accident uh, heading to the airport, but um, generally, in my opinion, they're they're very, very safe, so. Huh. Interesting. It blows my mind coming to the show every weekend at, at 5 o'clock in the morning on the highway driving, uh, speaking of traffic and things. Hey, there's so many freaking cars on the road at time of the morning on the Palmetto Expressway, dude. There's, there's, there's and they're all driving there. nice and carefully. Oh, dude, look, I, almost got, look at their license I almost got nailed three times this morning by guys swerving in, hauling ass around yep. me. It, I, they must be coming out of the clubs, man. I don't look at their it. license plates. You're going to see three. You're going to see Quebec. <laughs> you're going to see no, New York. And you're going to see New Jersey. No, it's all locals. I'm sorry. The no. worst drivers are locals. Yeah, no, I'm just saying these were all lo pretty much local guys, Joe. Quebec is I call them local locals, okay? Local. Yeah, local. But, dude, the highways are packed at this time of the morning. By the way, the Canadians are back, though. Okay. Hey, did Ozzy, uh, you never finished that. He said his wife wouldn't let him? Oh, no. His wife had uh, an event, uh, so it kind of kept him from going oh, to the tournament that day. Yeah, I got yeah. you. Okay. He went to your pre -party, Yeah, he was at the kickoff. But he couldn't actually fish because of a gotcha. family okay. family things. I was or, wondering why I didn't see him. Because I, well, I had a question for him during the morning, and I couldn't find him. All right, so while we're on this break here real quick, you want to just uh, uh, vibe on your Raiders. You got a nice coach now. You're happy with the guy? I am... You, Extremely you excited. You and I talked last night yes. about this, yeah. Josh McDaniels, to me, is ready. He's right. ready for this opportunity. Right. He's already... Uh, Ziegler, they're our, uh, our general manager. We also plucked from New England. Okay. And we also got Chip Kelly from... Not the Chip Kelly you're thinking of. The uh, assistant general manager from Chicago. Okay. We got him. And we actually just signed... Yesterday, last night, yeah. the Giants defensive coordinator who has been interviewing for uh, a bunch of head coaching jobs and worked with McDaniels in New England uh, as like a linebacker coach or whatnot. Young guy. So, uh, I'm excited. This say, is a good you're staff. Say, you're saying it's going to be a Super Bowl next year. No. You're going. No. By the way, do you think Chucky will ever come back or he's ruined from those stupid emails? I mean, and it just is so wrong. It was 25 he is my favorite years coach, ago. Okay? And it Dude, sucks. Okay. It really sucks. I hope he wins against the NFL. It and was I'll tell you. Five years ago. No. But for here's the, here's the thing that 
bothers me. For the NFL to come out and, first of all, put it out there, yeah. which it shouldn't have been, right. this was an investigation into Washington, not John Gruden and the Raiders. Yeah. Yeah. So for them to put that out and, and basically do a hit job... It was a hit job, dude. Yeah. You know it, okay? They, they, they threw Chucky into the big bus. Saying that he was okay. the only one out of how many emails was it? Like a billion? It's, it's that that talked like that? Come on. Give me a break. Well, when this whole thing with the Finns uh, goes full blown, oh, God. that's going to be a nasty situation there, bro. Yeah, that's... Uh... Ugly. Ugly. Well, well, let me ask you guys this. Maybe Steven would know. I, you're going to get cut off. I guarantee you we're coming back from break. All right, real quick. Quick question. Steven, what's going to happen with the head coaching situation? I, I can't comment. I don't know. We, to be continued, man. To be continued, yeah. I mean, you guys have anybody? They got a guy. They're looking at the uh, uh, offensive coordinator from the uh, 49ers, actually, is, was coming to interview. Assistant. Because Shanahan's I, I the caller. I think it was uh, water, the, uh, water boy. You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Catch all the fish. With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly. Fisherman Show. Now you can play the devil went down to Georgia theme song there, Stephen J. Gray, because you had yeah, to do yeah, early. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, okay. You got it on right time now there, buddy, because we're going to Georgia. I don't even know if he's in Georgia now. He's, he's traveled so much, man. <laughs> I don't know where yeah. the hell he is these days. Probably back here. He's here, there, South Carolina, Alaska. Who knows when we... Uh, the moon? Land, the moon? I don't know. Let's Mars? ask him. The legend, Captain Bouncer Smith. Are you in town? Out of town? Where are you, Captain? Yeah. I'm hiding in Georgia. No. <laughs> Georgia. I stopped by to do my laundry. Nice. <laughs> Are you having a little cold snap up that way? Well, it's it's warmer in the house up here than it was out fishing last weekend. Okay. You know, I fished last Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Nice. With Captain A.B. Raymond and some of our old charter clients. Right. We had a ball. I wore two shirts. Two jackets, a sweatshirt, and I had some wool socks from uh, up north, and uh, I barely survived. Yeah, it was cold. You barely survived. <laughs> it was nippy. But camp. What, what, yeah. what door did they catch fish? And we, we, like I said, we we're fishing with AB Raymond, and uh, we fished uh, fresh water all weekend. Right. And we had snook and clown night fish, largemouth bass, peacock bass. Big mouth sleepers, uh, Mayan cichlids, Midas cichlids, uh, just mm-hmm. all kinds of great well, things. What's a, what's really a, had a good time. What's a big mouth sleeper? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a lizard fish in fresh water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wow, I never heard of those. A big mouth sleeper, that's a new one for me, man. Well, yeah. only, it's the only one I ever saw. I had a lot of shiner. Hmm. Uh, almost all the fish were caught on China. Oh, my dad, Candy Ooh, Joe, candy. candy, candy on the boat, baby. My man, you're happy, Captain aren't you? Bouncer. Aren't you happy? Yeah. Yes, the Candy Man over I here. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I must have made a thousand casts with artificial lures and never got a bite. Right. Of course, that's the way it and is, man. Our guest on the boat, Rick Isapura, <laughs> he wanted us to fish with a pink jig on the bottom, uh, so he bought a a uh, hoochie uh, tuna skirt, one of those little rubber skirts, and we put a jig head inside of it, and A.B. made five casts with it, and he caught a peacock bass. After I threw every traditional bass lure you can think of and didn't get a bite, <coughs> he made five casts with this pink and blue hmm. rubber jig and caught a peacock bass. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the candy man, baby. Yeah, sweetheart. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So this was before you guys used the candy. You were just met, like, is this during or, Captain? Oh no, no. This was 
almost at the end of the candy. Gotcha. Hunt. Okay. All right. It was it was candy all the way. There was no two ways about it. I love hearing that. Uh, if it was if you weren't using candy, you were wasting your time over the weekend. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, Greg. Oh, come on, mind. man. Let the man talk and get Sammy Captain Davis Bouncer. Sammy Davis off the damn radio, will you please? But anyway, so now Cap Bouch is a uh, proponent of using shiners and uh, live bait, man. Of so. course, you know you got to jump on that train. But man. I'll tell you this: when I catch peacock bass on my balcony of my place in Miami Lakes, uh, I'm go. tossing a live target lure and nothing but, yeah. and I get fish. Okay, uh, so yeah. you can have your yeah, candy. Yeah, let me ask you this, Eric. Sir. When the grandkids come over, do they get live targets or do they get candy? They get live bait. <laughs> they get live bait. Man. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's the way they're going to be happy and hook up, man. But I agree. There's a time and a place for shiners and a time and a place for no shiners, okay? So they're both valid baits. Okay, Joe, are you happy? No. No? Never Candy's happy. the best. Hey, Candy's the way to go. The, you always got to diversify. I mean... Yes, catching a fish on shiners is fine, but it's nowhere near as good as feeling the strike on a uh, submerged lure. Or uh, like two weeks ago, I was up at Felsmere, and it's, I'm throwing a top water popper, and his bass jumps all the way in the air and misses. And then I pop it again, and he comes up and he grabs it with a big smashing strike. Yeah, on that artificial lure, you can't beat it. Yep. But if you can't get a bite on the artificial lure and you can get a bite on the candy, go with the candy. Any part in a storm, you know. It's all about the catching at one point or another. Exactly. Well, Cap, let me switch over to saltwater real quick. Back when you did your decades-long charter on the Dusky 33. Were you a fan of fishing in February? Was that one of your favorite months? And, and did you, I mean, what do you think about that being a good month of fish? You know, back, when, back in the old days, February could be a very good month for two fish. Sailfish. Mm-hmm and tarpon. Okay. But in the modern day, with climate change, it's much tar- harder to catch a sailfish or a tarpon. And therefore, uh, as uh, as was mentioned a little while ago by Danny, it's a very good month for swordfish if we get calm weather. But other than that, it's a tough month to catch fish. Oh. Uh, there's some there's some amber jacks around on the rack. You keep them. Uh, it's a good month to go shark fishing, <laughs> and uh, it's a good month to go shrimp. Plenty of those but, shrimp. Uh, it's a tough month. It's a tough month for. <laughs> it always has been a quality time of year, not a quantity time of year. Yeah. So uh, it makes for some challenging fishing figure. I would consider it probably one of the worst months of the year if it wasn't for selfish and tarpon. And with them not being as good anymore, I'm really glad I asked. I, I don't want, I like <laughs> bad mouth what my buddies have to do, but they've got that work cut out for them in February. I'm, I'm glad I asked that I question. Have, Captain, I have noticed, so though, the Captain, yeah. the, uh, the Mahi Mahi have been pretty decent so far this month, which is a change, a pleasantly surprising. Well, that, yeah. that's an yeah. interesting thing you bring up because with climate change, our waters are less inviting to the selfish and tarpon. But they're more inviting to the dolphin fish. So, hmm. yeah, we and especially if we get an east wind, right. it's kind of a funny game. We get an east wind, and you got a better chance for the sailfish and the dolphin. And if you don't get any wind, you got a much better chance on the swordfish. So you kind of just you got to put the swordfish rods on the boat and the kite fishing rods on the boat. And if the wind blows, you kite fish on the edge, and the fish will be good. The wind doesn't blow, you go sword fishing. Just got to be uh, flexible. It's almost like having artificial lures in live bait. It's being prepared for everything. Right. And as, as Jimbo has mentioned, uh, February is a very good month to fish very shallow water, the mm. patch reefs and stuff like that. Yep. And uh, that can be done all up and down the coast. You just you get one of these Seymour maps. And you can follow the edges of the reefs all the way up the coast. And you want to troll right down the very edge of the reef on the sand uh, if you want the mutton snappers. But you can slow troll those with a Seymour map. You can see right where to troll. But you go right down the sand side of the edge of the reef for the muttons and right up against the rocks 
uh, for the groupers, which are all catch and release now. But you can do it all the way down the coast. Used to be you could only do it where you could see the bottom. But now with the Seymour mapping, which Eric's been with me on that. Yep. It makes it a no-brainer where to troll for those muttons and groupers. Beautiful. Up in the shallow water in the wintertime. Camp, i got to rock with the clock here, my friend. But, hey, have a great weekend. Come on down and see us real soon. I know the boat, yeah. sh- boat show's coming up uh, soon. You'll be there. So look forward to seeing you there. I'll be there for all five days, I might add, during my birthday, no less, which Ooh. is every year I'm at the boat show. But uh, thank you, Cap. Have a great day. Yeah, we got to get him back on the show. I bet you I will be down oh. at the boat show. I plan on spending the day there on Friday and Saturday. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing you all real soon. You got it. Thanks, Captain. All right, Joe, so it's Starbright bucket time right now, buddy boy. Love I was it with fired. Wash Sorry. and wax and Starbright <laughs> cleaner. And well, you were fired, the Joe. The wash mitt and the bucket, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and uh, we, we loved your story, Joe. He fired but, me. But those left in 2021, it's now 2022. We're right. modifying the giveaway, okay? Right. Okay. So we're going to do some trivia. It's now tri- fishing trivia time, okay? Okay. Or life trivia time. Am Can I, we fire am I, you am before I, that? Am I part of this or am I fired? And this question, uh, you are part of this. Okay? Oh. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to do my best golfing impression because I'm, I'm now dressed like Jim Nance. So it's basically like this. Last weekend, Joe Hector had a tournament. A very successful tournament, I might add. What was the target number one target species of last weekend's Joe Hector kayak tournament out of Papano Beach. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay. Is, is this question for me? This question no. is for the, for the audience who I hope is tuned in and understands <laughs> what you pulled off last week. Okay. okay. What was the number one Ooh, fish a tough one. they were trying to catch last weekend? That's got your name on it, Joey. You like that? Yes. N- not really? Yeah, that's... Yeah. Okay. Answer the question right now. 866. I don't know if they're going to get that one. 866-801-0940. 866-801-0940. Right now to Fox Sports 940, baby. Live. Thank you. Uh, are we on break? Is that... I'm, We're on a break. I'm, I'm, are you I'm, staying? I'm walking now. You're walking off again. I'm walking to go stretch my tie. All right. For Thank nearly you. four decades, yes. sailfish boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast. And the new 272 center console and 27 dual console continue this proud offshore heritage. With head-turning styling, top-tier construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, sailfish boats feature the legendary deep V variable degree stepped hull, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features that make sailfish the best value among upper-tier brands. Deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, solid construction, and incredible performance all make sailfish boats boats a must-see. Fishing focused and family friendly. Sailfish boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon wakeboarding with the kids, and a sunset cruise with friends, all with one boat. So if you're in the market for a new boat, the entire Sailfish line is specially priced, making this the best time to join the Sailfish family. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information or to find a Sailfish dealer near you. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're People's Insurance Underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. This boating season, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission wants to remind you to wear your life jacket. You make a difference in the life of your family. As a parent, it's your job to keep your kids safe and be there for them. You do it at home, at school, and you need to do it on the water as well. Always wear your life jacket and have your children wear theirs too. It's a basic step that saves lives. Life jackets save lives. Wear it, Florida. Visit MyFWC.com for more information. That's MyFWC.com. You have two missions in life. Go fast and catch fish. The 3.0 liter, 150 horsepower Mercury Pro XS will take care of going fast so you can take care of catching fish. On freshwater or salt, 150 Pro XS is tuned to power mid-sized boats to the limit. Pull shot and top speed are incredible thanks to the lowest weight, highest displacement in the category and transient spark technology that optimizes spark timing. Talk with your Mercury dealer today about the Mercury 150 horsepower Pro XS. 
Need a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month, the lowest rate in Broward County. Our full service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. Water stains on the shower glass. Try rubbing some shaving cream on. Tyler's cleaning crew knows every housekeeping trick in the book. Handling timesheets now. But they need a proper bookkeeper to keep fire. Well, welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Da da. Ba dooby 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 doo. Do we have uh, somebody for the Starbright uh, bucket? I haven't heard uh, from Ricardo yet on that. We got uh, Kyle Duncan. Whoa, Kyle, my man. Hope you like the shirt. Ozzy Cho was saying something like, uh, for bait, try gummy worms. I love gummy worms. <laughs> <laughs> but, but not for bait, I don't think, dude, right? Hey, you never no. know. Uh, you yeah. never know. We do Is have a winner. Eric, Eric Lingell says we do have a winner on hold, and uh, Greg is ready to go, too. George, uh, George is ready to go, too. So Let me see if I have the name here. Uh, bu- 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 who's, the, who's next, George Clark? Yeah. Yes, bro. Oh. Um, could you ask maybe Ricardo to send me um, the winner's name? Absolutely not. Please? No. That'd be kind of you, so I know who I'm talking to. No. Are we live yet? No. Not yet. Are we live yet? Just hang on, Joe. We're coming back, dude. Are we live yet? Are we live yet? <laughs> <laughs> What's your plans after the show? Mia time? Yeah, back you to... Little Mama Mia? Back to the routine. Your winner, Steve Harmer. Thank you, sir. Steve, that's the yes. name? Okay. Yeah, Maria's off to work. Daddy's going to have a little daddy-daughter day. I got to get a lot of work done with the... Uh, Look, Ozzy just keeps blowing. He goes, yeah, I've caught peacocks with gummy worms. See? What? See? Is that called... Beautiful morning. Oh, ain't that beautiful? It's Beautiful. Any day fishing's a beautiful day. Now back to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine and brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Now, here's your fishing buddies, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Yeah, hour number two is going on. We asked that question before the break. What was your target species, Joe, on last weekend's tournament? We have a guy named Steve on line one who happens to know the answer, Joe. Really? Yeah, you go ahead and take that off. Hey, Steve. What's up, dude? Yes. Hey, how, how are you? Doing, man? I'm doing well, man. So Good. tell tell us all, what was Joe Hector's target species last weekend's tournament? Sailfish. Sailfish. Oh! <laughs> you see how easy we make these questions, man? Not that difficult, Steve. No. You've got a great bucket yeah. of Starbright goodies, man, to wash, wax, mitt, the whole deal. Nice. We'd like to know, do you have a boat? Yeah, I'm on uh, Key Largo, right down the canal, uh, Pilot House Canal. Got a 27 foot on the bay. Awesome, nice. Well, does the boat need some Starbright love to make it look shiny and happy? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, Sweet. Who, who, That's question, so nice. question is, who's supplying it? You or maybe the wife or the neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does, you guys don't come down and put it on? <laughs> oh, oh, great. That was, oh. Steve, that was great. Steve, that was great, He's man. my favorite guy right this now. This guy is good, man. <laughs> no, we don't apply for you, Steve, okay? Oh, man. Oh, man. But I'll tell you after the show how to pick up, your, pick up your bucket. And uh, <laughs> I have one more question, man. Uh, are you an avid fishing guy? Uh, I'm loading the boat right now to go out. Nice. And what are you targeting? What are you looking for today? We're going to do some tuna and then some mutton. All right, man. Long time listener to the show. You've been with us for a while? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Steve, yeah. Uh, you're not one of our favorite guys. That Definitely. was uh, coming back with the. Uh, we actually put it on for you. It was classic, bro. <laughs> it was so beautiful. That was awesome, man. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. You made my morning, bro. Have a great day. Right. Catch him up, man. Thanks, Steve. 
Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, man. Uh, wasn't that great? That's a good guy. <laughs> he reminds me of us guys on the set. That's something we would ask. Yeah, exactly. You know, That's what right? I'm saying. Like, boom, we should bring him on. Total smart ass. I love yeah, this. Exactly. <laughs> here we go, man, down to Key Largo, our good friend, the fish guys. My man. The man who made it here and cooked up some mean ass fish burritos. Yes. They were amazing. They were unbelievable. George Clark Jr. Good morning, bro, man. Captain George. What's up? What's up, guys? Hey, how you doing, George? <laughs> I'm a little under the weather. I got a little cold thing going on. But uh, other than that, I'm doing good. And so You mentioned the word I cold. Found, uh, First thing that comes to my mind is uh, the vid. I don't know, but it's not vid, <laughs> right? Ain't, ain't vid? <laughs> No, I, uh, I I went in yesterday and it, uh, took the test, and they said, no, you don't have COVID, but you got a cold. Okay. All right. Nice. Common cold. Common cold. The common cold. It seems like it's something you're aware of. I didn't know the cold existed anymore. I thought it was a I thought it was all COVID. I thought so, too, yeah. Interesting. Or Omicron or whatever the hell is yeah. going on. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, that's what everybody thinks, and, and there's all sorts of different things that you can get, but, yeah. but yeah. I... You know what? I, I don't feel bad. I just sound a little bad. But I think you sound amazing, George. Well, as long as George can catch you. crabs, uh, we're all good. Right. So anyway, yes. uh, George. Well, or the clams. A bad case <laughs> oh, of the clams. Oh, God. That, that was not nice. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. You just never know. You never know, George. So uh, how's your fisherman this week? What's been biting? What's happening, dude? I was. Uh, it was a, a decent week of fishing. We got out with some, some folks. We had some, a couple... Uh, had a group in from Virginia, okay. and uh, they were happy to get out of the cold. And they came down. We did a little bit of uh, backcountry fishing. Nice. Um, it, you know what? It has not been great, but it but it was steady, okay. steady enough to uh, you know bend the rods back there. We were catching uh, a, a variety, really, some sea trout, some snook. Uh, what else did we get? Pompano, okay, bluefish. Bluefish. You know, Bluefish. This, time of, this time of year, yeah, when it gets cold this wow. time of year, these fish, they, um, you find these mullet muds, and you just never know what you're going to catch in them, you know, and you're throwing uh, artificials, and you're just bouncing jigs through there. Uh, we're using some Berkeley gulp, like uh, these like curly tails on jig heads, and you can fish them fast, so you're throwing in this mud, and you're just boom, 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 and you're catching a variety, so... Um, that that was pretty cool, and we caught some snook um, this week. So, thank goodness that uh, it warmed up a little bit. I was getting kind of scared there for a, a while, guys. I was yeah, like, "Oh man, yeah. are we gonna are we gonna start seeing fish float everywhere here like we did twelve years ago?" And and uh, it didn't it didn't happen. So, well, Joe found a couple cool. of, a couple of floaters from that. that, that yeah, snap. man, yeah. George, I'll tell you. And these were these were like good. One pound. Some were smaller. I should. I said the one I sent you was a, a yeah. little smaller. Yeah. But there were four of them on the shoreline. You could tell they like just died. They were cold, but they were shovel nose. I think hybrid red tail catfish. Man, they were beautiful. It's uh, it's a shame. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Babies yeah. though. So I mean, maybe the mom or dad yeah. or whatever in well, there. They always say the strongest survive, Joe. So yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. You call out the the guys who. I, I, I believe in that, too, though. I really do. When we had that freeze of, of about 12 years ago, when all of those fish died, I'm like, well, you know, the ones that do survive are going to be genetically yes. superior to, yep. to all of them. There you and go. that makes, that makes, you know, everybody else stronger. So, um, but no, it, you know what, this week out on the reef, there was a variety of a bite too, and and we're doing the patch fishing stuff that that shallower stuff, fifteen to to twenty five, thirty foot of water, and uh, legal yellowtails, bar jacks. Nice. Uh, what else are we catching? Lots of lots of little throwback groupers, throwback muttons. You get a you get a legal mutton here and there, mm -hmm. but the bottom the bottom line is you can really really have a lot of fun and, and keep people um, bending the rods. Sure, you know, I mean, keep them. It's a, it's a lot of action, a lot of stuff going on. There's some mackerels around, and then if you slide up further offshore, the guys that uh, we've had we've had a lot of sailfish tournaments going on here. Yeah. We had the, the bartenders, we had the poor girls. Um, big numbers of fish caught, like the winning boat, eight fish. You know, for a day of fishing, that's pretty good fishing. Uh huh. Yep. You know, so I mean that uh, that's going on out there. But as far as uh, the blackfin tunas and and some of the other species that we like to target. I heard that the gentleman that you had on here was going out to catch tunas and muttons. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it could happen, but we just haven't seen a, a good push of them yet. 
right. of uh, the the, uh, the black men's like we do. Um, probably coming up here in March, we're going to really start to see that pop. Yes. And that's going to be good. That 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 zone is going to be 150 to 200 feet of water, and there's going to be some really nice fish caught out there. I mean, we're we're catching world class black fins now. Nice. It's crazy. I like that. It's man. crazy. Yeah. I mean, we're catching we're catching black fins over 30 pounds. It's not, what? It's not a big deal if you're like, yeah. I mean, we we've been doing it consistently. Those are huge, last, man. Yeah. Jeez. I know they're world they're world class. God, fish. Yeah, it's been a great year for Blackfin, though. I mean, they've been pretty much hanging around. Remember in, in 2021, every show we were doing, it was Blackfin, Blackfin, right. Blackfin, the whole swordfish, Blackfin, Blackfin. 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 Yeah. It was banging, man. Yeah, yeah. Snook for you know, a while. I gotta Remember? ask, what happened to kingfish? Why is nobody catching them? I think Where they're. I think they're over, they? I, I'm not sure George is out of this one. I think. I think they're overfished. They not threw. that I mind. I mean, they're catching more wahoo than kingfish. I think they're overfished. That's my opinion, George. Now, nah, well, I don't know. I, you know what? I'll, I'll give you a better. February has always been the month here in the Keys where the kingfish really start to settle in and show up. Okay. And once they do, and you go out there, I mean, guys, guys are catching them. You go out there and you, you, you throw the net on some pilchards and you get out there and you can sprinkle a few previews and put some pilchards out there and just drag them around real slow and and when you get on the kings you're gonna you're gonna be on them you know um, I just don't think people are targeting them as much and you know what that's a good eating fish if you catch a, a fresh kingfish and eat it right away man they're yeah. delicious oh I love it man I mean, a lot of guys don't like kingfish George I, 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 I think kingfish is great no. on the grill man cooks up white I love it uh, I think it's dynamite yeah or make it say, it, dip listen, out of it listen to, you know? listen to him listen to him right there listen to him and he eats panita. Oh, yeah. Maron. See, if I can eat panita, I can definitely eat a piece of cat. I don't, I don't eat fish. the panita. I give it to friends and say it's black. Oh, <laughs> man, even worse. <laughs> so you say, hey, it's black fin soda, Eric. Come on. They don't piece. know the difference. Did you know? <laughs> no. No, because you, you, you select it with spices, dude. It could have been anything. George, we're going to make, bl- make panita tacos, my friend, you and me. Dude, what do you say, dude? We can make kingfish tacos uh, for for all that matters. Oh, there you go. Okay. There the, thing you is, go. the thing is, fresh fish or fresh fish, and if you catch a fish, what do you do with it? You brine it. Yep. Okay, you throw it in a brine as soon as you catch it, and you get the temperature of that fish down real cold, and that that fish is great, man. I mean, everybody likes smoked fish dip, right? Yep. And love it. You can do you can do kingfish or amberjack or any of these fish that really. Other people don't want to cook and eat, but if you catch a fresh kingfish and you take care of them and cut the cut the bloodline out and you grill it, or you got man, you could make the best tacos out of that. Honestly, sure. you can make some seriously awesome awesome stuff out of it. But again, it's a fresh fish, and and people ask me all the time. They're like, "Hey, can you eat that?" I'm like, "Dude, you can eat anything if it's fresh." Amberjack. I mean, really. Yeah, eat oh, Amberjack oh, no, yeah, problem. Okay. Right. <laughs> no problem. No problem. No hey, problem. George, we, you we, know what? Yeah. It is what it is. Hey. The fresh fish is fresh fish. We got to rock it soon, man. But uh, just George. real quick before you go, man. The Fish Guys on Discovery Channel. Rock it strong? Yeah, we're doing good, man. Hey, tune in tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. on Discovery. And you can catch the newest, uh, the newest episode that's on there. But, yeah, we had a great season. And uh, everybody, the feedback's been phenomenal. Uh, we appreciate all the people that support us and that have watched it. But beautiful, yeah. And if you if you, if you can't catch it there, go to YouTube or yep. go to Carbon TV. Carbon TV is like a digital thing. Yep. You can go there and see all of the episodes. So cool. One Pretty of the cool. greatest fishing shows. Not because George is on the phone. I love the show. I'm hooked on it. Oh, great, great show. Job. Entertaining. Yeah. Fun. It's a great program. George, thanks so much, brother man. Gotta be fun. Gotta be fun, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, George. You're Thank the man. Yes. Yeah. All hey, right. Matt, have an awesome day. You too. I hope I get my voice back here. My wife's happy that I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, George. All right. See you, buddy. So, time to get on the topic, uh, Joe, that a lot of guys uh, who are in the boating world uh, are confused about, including me when I had my boats. And that's boating insurance. Yeah. What a pain in the butt going through a policy and not really knowing what the hell you just bought. Yeah. What's included? What's a deductible? What's the coverage? If my boat sinks, if I hit a rock, what are you going to actually cover? And then it's like you're reading and reading and reading. And, you're just, and then something oh. happens and then you realize that your agent can't be found because he's not answering his phone. Right. Probably knowing you have a claim. 
People's Insurance Online, Jose and Jackie, the boss on this company. Now, they're not just people who just give you boater insurance. Family they, business. Family business. Yeah. But they dive. They fish. They are on the water doing the sport. They're actually insuring, okay? In the community. In the community. Had a great meeting with them all. And uh, their main thing about this whole company is, Joe, when you call them or log on to their website, they reply immediately, okay? That's great. They don't push you off a week later or whatever else. They're sending you off to some guy in Pakistan who calls himself Bill. I mean, Jose calls you back himself, okay? Right. He'll explain what the policy means to you. He won't over-insure you, okay? Mm -hmm. Remember a lot of guys want to sell you too oh, much of something yeah. you don't need, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have a $35,000 boat? Yeah, we should insure that for $1.5 million. Ugh. Okay. No, it yeah, yeah. doesn't work that way. Right. A few things. At Happy Boating, now, I'll give you the website, but for example, uh, at Happy Boating, they're more than insurance agents. They are boaters and captains themselves. They understand what it takes to insure your boat the right way, especially when our customers are new boat owners. They take pride in educating the boaters about insurance policy, options, and benefits. No matter the vessel you're looking for, whether it could be a skiff to a center console to a yacht, they will insure you, okay? So, again, they'll explain it to you. Because, I don't know, man, I, even my homeowner's policy, it, dude, it's like Greek to me, bro. You know the thing, too? These boat values have gone way up. Yeah. So, who wouldn't want to make sure that your boat is properly insured, especially in you know, hurricane season and on yep. the bay and in the ocean? Definitely. I like the fact that they're really customer-focused, that the customer is really important to them. I need that more in my life. You don't find it these days, Joe. Well, that's the thing. You like know? When it comes to insurance like this, I think... Going to a small business, uh, you know what I mean, with a family orient Correct. oriented like mindset. Yeah, like hey, we do this. We're part of the community you guys are in. Correct. We're gonna help you. Exactly. And that that's so hard to find. That that's what drew me to Nautical Ventures. Yeah. yeah. Was was when they had their first store. You know, it's so family oriented. It was tight knit. Yep. And it still is, but I'm saying they're they're bigger. They're growing, but that's why they were growing. Exactly. So uh, with them, it's the same thing. I mean, it's their phone. They're gonna pick up. They're gonna to help you. Thank you. I, I think it's so important. And uh, again, they, they're hands-on customer service. Right. Now, they have a new website that is uh, 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 actually put online. Thehappyboating.com Okay. okay? Thehappyboating.com Happy Or call the office if you would to 786-464-0861 786-464-0861 And by the way, on the website, you can actually log on and get a quote. Just putting a couple of words in, what kind of boat you have, what year it is, and get a quote right there online, man, That's immediately. Great. How cool is that? And then give them a call. And then give them a call, thehappyboating.com. Thank you very much, Jackie and Jose. Yeah. We love you, your sponsors, and your family now, so thank you very, very much. Definitely. And Stephen J. Gray may call you after the show and ask him what his pontoon boat is now currently <laughs> worth and whether you should over-insure that thing, okay? <laughs> okay. Come back, man. We're just rocking on the program. 717, Fox Sports 940. Live. <laughs> Hey, talking about uh, uh, boats and losses, yeah. do you guys hear uh, or see uh, Light, uh, Lighthouse Point and Pompano Pier, a, uh, a barge and tugboats Saw uh, that. got into trouble. The Saw tugboat that. was sinking, yep. and the barge had uh, corrosive and possibly explosive materials on board. What a mess. What? Talking about I insurance. About this? Yeah, in your neck of the woods there, Joe. Right in Pompano? Uh, yeah, the thing was banging around, and they still they were put, taking off uh, uh, some some trailers that had like eighteen wheeler trailers on it, and it was uh, it was of course this thing was trying to navigate during the rough seas that we had last week. So wow, um, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, man, I, I got something to say here real quick on the Facebook stream from Captain Bouncer. This is kind of ticking me off. Uh oh, he goes, I noticed that jacket's a little tight on Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost some weight. I think Eric found it. First of all, Ooh. Captain oh. Bowser, this jacket, Ooh, no, he this didn't. whole outfit, I didn't see this. this outfit is custom tailored to my body, okay? Oh, oh, here we go. The wow. days of wearing the big trench coat suits have been out, Cap, okay? Just so you know, oh, okay? Wow. They make them to fit your body, and I'm oh, in damn boy. good shape for 65 mm -hmm. years old, okay? Here so don't be, don't be throwing that crap my way, dude. Here we go. Okay, I take offense to that. Although I will say one thing. <laughs> Now listen, you, I you love never, it. You never no, think no, 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 no. I'm thing. on your side. Okay, but the, the, the shoulder pads are a little much. All right, let's just. <laughs> let's, <laughs> but I love the suit. They, I love the. It's the padding is done. I'm giving you tough to love. accentuate my wide, broad shoulders. Okay. Well, yeah, I like the color scheme. Yeah. Right. What you got it spot on. You know, nautical esque. 
You know, how colors. do you even know it's Patty? It could be my flesh in there, man. It's definitely not. That could be my my, my know, shoulder. Yeah, gloves, why, why man? do you have to have fake padding? It's like women do that sometimes too in other in places. 80s, you know what I mean? 80s, I mean, by the way, in the eighties. Uh, I, 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 I literally, is, I literally can't win with you guys. All I'm saying is, with the shoulder pads, like come when out they, unscathed. When they're when they're when they come up like this, when you sit, it means they're a little <sighs> little little wide. So tell your your guy. If let, can let, just me, let me it a let me more. check my shoulder pads and do the do the width check here. Let me see. I think there we go. Think, yeah, yeah. You see that? You see? I, yeah, you see what he's flying? Bit. You see what he's flying your way, Joe? By yeah, the way, I'm always the bad guy. I mean, people, okay. people, people are tuning in and they're like, "Is this the Nautical Ventures uh, insurance show or something?" I mean, what, <laughs> well, what's going on? It's not so bad. It, it's it could be that great. But I'm doing an interview after the well, show. That's why I'm dressed in a suit and tie. Otherwise, I I don't like being in this thing, Ben. I do not feel right doing a fishing show. In this damn monkey suit. Well, Gordon, one of our okay. fans, says his exact words: "The tie sucks." <laughs> <laughs> this was picked out by Gordon. the guy who put my outfit oh, together, man. Oh my Go god! Gordon, tell us how you really feel right. about the tie. <laughs> although, although my my mom actually tuned in. Wow! Yeah. Uh -huh. And she said, "You look great, Eric." Thank you, Mrs. Hector, with Joanne. a laughing hysterical emoji. You. Oh damn it! <laughs> oh damn it! <laughs> Really? Okay. <laughs> no, I, I think she has a crush on you, actually. It's kind of weird. Did she had her eyes checked lately? But anyway. Um, yes, that's why I'm wearing this. I have a thing to do after the show, and it may be a, a game changer for me, so that's why I'm wearing a damn thing. But and I'll, I like it. But I I'll, like I'll, the I'll never suit. do it again. I'll never no, do it again. I like the suit. Yeah. Wear it again. Okay, thanks. All right. Just... Just easy with those shoulder pads, man. You're hitting me over. How much was that rental, Eric? <laughs> oh, you guys man. are so freaking. You brutal. knew you were going to walk into this. I, I knew I was in for a load of shit. Hey, Austin Burke is calling me. They want their suit back. <laughs> You know, man, you come on a show like this, and you're going to get ragged on. If you wore a suit on this show, I'd be, me? I'd be busting your ass the entire show. Well, that would never happen. Trust me, okay? So, you know. They sell these t-shirts now. They got the tie and the thing all down. Oh, yeah, we've those. seen that. We've right? seen that. That'd be cool, right? Yeah, That'd be cool. 1984, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Same year as the turtleneck I wore on the show that uh, one day. Oh, nothing Which I just top. got recently. Nothing will top your 1980s turtleneck. You were on my ass about that, bad. Well, what but do you I, expect? I, Who wears a turtleneck Bouncer in South Florida? Bouncer said something like, he goes, yeah, where, where are you? And I, I said, I have a stylist. And, and I said to you, you have a stylist, Joe. It's Salvation Army. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I am a I am listen, I'm the normal Joe. I put flip flops, I T shirt, oh no showers. Wait, wait, Bouncer just bumped bumped in with a with a comment. Uh -oh. I think Eric does look very professional. See he just, he just covered his ass, okay. Good, see? So thank you, Bouncer. Oh, no, he's just trying to yeah, he no, did that no to Bouncer, make, don't try to yeah. He did it to make you feel better. Thank but it's much. okay. <laughs> right? It's okay. You know Wake up. Wake up, friends. Waking up to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show with expert troller Eric Brandon. Here comes the king of hits. Plus extreme angler Joe Hector. This is more than we bargained for. Powered by Mercury Marine. And brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk to fellow fishing fans, call 866-801-0940 or send us a message on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, it is, man. It's a rocking show, man. Go by so fast. It's crazy. It's been fun. It's been phenomenal, as they always are. Thanks to our Facebook streamers for checking us out yeah. this morning. Over Love you guys. Uh, 940 listeners, thank you guys very much. But Norm Beckoff on the finest kind. is My on man, deck Norm. Right now, man. Norm. What's up, bro? Norm. <clears throat> Ladies, good morning. How are you? <laughs> I love Norm's sarcasm, too, man. First he fits right into this show, man. He's the man. Hey, Norm. Us ladies are doing fine, brother, man. Thank you very much. And by the way, talk about ladies. Is this a new picture with Norm and a, a, a lady friend uh, catching fish on the Yeah, Eastern what Bay? was with that? I, I wanted to ask him no, about no, that. I, Norm sent me some new photos of him catching some fish recently. He's holding one on, on the Facebook stream live of a nice blackfin tuna he caught offshore, which is oh. nice, Norm. Very cool. So, Cap, I use those photos, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's been, uh, uh, th th this week has been hit and miss. Uh, 
earlier on in the week. It was really good. Lots of sailfish pouring through after that front. Right. After that uh, wind blew. Uh, some good uh, some good wahoos also bit right in there. Some mahis pushed in. And there was some also some really nice kingfish that are still continuing to bite. Kingfish, Joe. Uh, there we go. Of, kingfish. Yeah. Today, with the lack of wind that we have, uh, we're going to go out and try to catch some uh, ballyhoos, some live ballyhoos, and bump them around the reef and see if we can't find a sailfish or a dolphin early. Mm-hmm. And then maybe go on the troll and try and find a mahi. So we'll see what happens. You know, you got to be able to do a couple of different things here this week. Also, the highlight of the week was a 400 pound blue marlin that got caught uh, straight out okay. of Port Everglades in 275 feet of water. Wow. The guy was out there, he had one line out, was trying to catch a wahoo, and he caught a 400 pound blue. What a surprise that was, huh? That is awesome, <laughs> man. Nope. Was he was he tr- was he high speed trolling or what was he doing? Yeah, he was just dragging an islander, uh, oh, you know, off the back of his twenty three foot t topper. Oh god, very cool, man. <laughs> that is epic, man. I have never caught a blue marlin. That's by the way on my bucket list as well. I never Me caught either. one, yeah, or a yeah. white for that matter. I caught a white. They're I cool. Got, yeah, yeah, they're like a sailfish almost. The white marlin. Yeah, they're yeah. little. little yeah, guys. on steroids. Yes. <laughs> And you'd know something about that, wouldn't you, Joe? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> good job, uh, Normie, baby. Thing, though. I like it. Norm yeah, got that Norm. in there. Go, baby. Yeah. You say juice. That means a whole new thing to Ooh. Joe, man. Oh, uh, yeah. here we go. Too here soon. Go. Too soon. Anyway, Norm, uh, what's our water conditions like today, man? Decent day out of water or choppy or no, yeah, no it's wind? Gonna, what? It's, yeah, there's no wind right now. It's probably going to be flat calm right now, so it'll be a Beautiful. real nice day on the water. And I uh, got a crew of uh, murderous, bloodthirsty Minnesotans <laughs> ready to load up and go on out there and see what we can find. Nice. Bloody Min- murderous. Minnesota. Bloody murderous Minnesotans. What a nice way to call your clients. Minnesota. The lovely names. <laughs> <laughs> They're standing right here. Oh, they, oh, they are? <laughs> uh, Norv, so uh, what's your, you got a live, bunch of live bait in the well, or what you using today? Yeah, we're going to go out and uh, chum live values. Okay. So that's uh, that's that's the plan. Is the shrimp run still going, or is that thing kind of turned off? No, actually, the shrimp run in Miami is still continuing to be really strong wow. uh, on the incoming and outgoing tides. I mean, it's really in some big slobs too. So the tarpon fishing uh, and the mackerel fishing in shore is also very good. Norm, uh, we were talking about kingfish earlier. How like they've almost been kind of like non-existent, or they're just some rats here and there. I mean, where are you getting your bites? Uh, depth wise and stuff for kings. Um, they're they're in on the reef. Okay, uh, third to, reef or whatever. As, as deep as yeah, as deep as 180 feet. But uh, there's not a lot of them. But the the fish that uh, that are out there, not too bad. You know, anywhere between eight and 15 pounds. Okay, all right, very cool, man. Do you think there's anything to that? Like, I mean, people are catching more wahoo than kingfish. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. I mean, this is the time of year we used to go out there and just. Put the anchor down, lot you know, black out the well with pilchards and live chum them. Yeah, and uh, you know now you can't do that anymore. It's just they're not here. Yeah. All right. Well, Cap, Strange. go out there, do your thing. Have a great day with the clients. Hope you guys uh, catch them up with those nasty, mean ass Minnesotans and uh, <laughs> and do Minnesota Minnesota Vikings uh, and have a great day, Cap Norm. All right, guys. Take Thanks. it easy. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> He comes out, the first thing he says is, hello, ladies. I mean, what's the, what's the norm? Is he, I love Norm. He's getting as bad as we are. He is. Well, you know? he's part of the... He's That's why he's he's great to have on, because same with George and everyone else that we have now. They're part of the smart-ass class, yeah, man. Yeah, man, you know what I mean? it's yeah. great. We'll smart-ass class. class. We love that. <laughs> we do. That's us. <laughs> if, there's, if we don't diss each other in a show, it's just not a normal show. Exactly. I can't be like, hey, Joe, how you doing, buddy? Yeah. Fake, you look, fake, you look really fake. good today, man. Yeah, it's, we can't have you that. You know, that's uh, about as fake as uh, you know, with this... Tie I'm worried. Anyway, we'll take a little break. Come back with the Jennifer Gray Warren if she's got the, the phone on this morning. Check the forecast. Ooh. Cap Deb Deo is coming up. And we'll wrap it up with the Nautical Ventures Toy Chest. A really fun one today, baby. Can't wait. All right. 728 at Fox Sports 940. Live. Is your boat... Boom. Are you staying or playing? playing. I'm staying there, Chico. I got to stretch real quick. Dude. Yeah. Oh, if you're going to stretch, I'm going to get up and walk, too, man. Oh, a bunch of slackers, man. Uh, why don't you do something with the audience when we're gone? Sing. 
Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. I'm George Poveromo, and I've made washing and detailing my boat an art. I'll avoid dish soap, which quickly strips away protective wax coating and even begins eating into the gel coat. For me, it's Starbright Boat Washes exclusively. They're specifically formulated to keep boat surfaces impeccably clean and protected without stripping wax finishes. Available in pine, citrus, and blueberry scents. Go to Starbright.com to find a retailer near you. Starbright. Clean and protect. Joystick piloting for outboards by Mercury enhances virtually every aspect of boating, delivering ultimate confidence through effortless and intuitive joystick boat control. Mercury's JPO, designed for dual, triple, and quad Verado-powered vessels, allows you to simply and efficiently move your boat in any direction, sideways, diagonally, forward, backward, or even rotate in place. And you can dock or maneuver with confidence in tight spaces despite wind and current. Ask your Mercury dealer about joystick piloting for outboards. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive save over $700 on average, and those savings add up. Imagine what you could buy in the future. future. Hey, remember how 20 years ago I switched to Progressive? Well, now it's the future, and I used all those savings to buy this new hologram phone. Because, you know, it's the future, and everything is holograms now. So switch to Progressive and save big, because those savings can add up in the future. future. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. National annual average insurance savings by new customer surveyed who saved with Progressive in 2020. Potential savings will vary. This is Sean Dunn from J.R. Dunn Jewelers. We're bringing in hundreds of engagement rings, GIA certified diamonds, and wedding bands for our Takori Bridal event February 11th and 12th. We're giving you cash back up to $1,000 on every engagement ring and wedding band for those two days only. Or take advantage of our special five years interest-free financing on every setting or band in our showroom. Our Takori Bridal Event, Valentine's Weekend, February 11th and 12th at Jared and Jewelers. Family owned and operated for over 50 years. Football is back, and nobody covers it like 1049 Fox Sports Upstate. My journey begins as well. Ice cream cake. To take the literal shape of a football by the end of the season. Because of how fat you are. <laughs> this is 1049 Fox Sports Upstate. It's a big boy, guys. This is Chris Collinsworth. Here's what's trending on the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings. The Heat get another bottle. All right, so. We're back in the box here. Uh, bop, bop, bada, beep. We're uh, back. Cap Debs is Key Largo in the house. Okay, she's up next. Okay. The streamer's a little bit slow this morning, which is kind of strange. Normally, they're pretty interactive with the uh, the, the jives and, and picking on our asses, but they're yeah. being kind of kind today. I cannot believe still that New Year's show. We have Deb, by the way, and no Jen. Okay. Uh, that was a, about a 10,000-view show. Crazy. And I thought that show would be like 10 Yeah, people. we thought the opposite. We thought no one would be up. Jen Gray says, I answered but can't hear them. They could call me back. I try, uh, Eric, if you could check on again, uh, Jen. I couldn't sleep at all last night. I didn't sleep well last night. Because lately I've been losing sleep. Don't you go to sleep? I can't sleep at night. It's hard 
to sleep on Friday night thinking about fishing on Saturday. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine and brought to you by Papano Ford and Papano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk fishing, call Eric Brandon and Joe Hector at 866-801-0940. Listen on the radio or watch us on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah. Well, gotta back. keep them separated. Dude, gotta keep show. them separated. I said, uh, yeah, Joe, come on, take it. Roll with he's Joe. Eric take here, and I'm Katie on his show. Joe, and a Joe, Joe is a Joe, here, Joe, and he's Joe, going Joe, on the show. Joe, and an Eric Joe, is a Joe, here, Joe, a fishing in the show. show and we are a kitchen and a selfish and a... Go. You guys need some help. Yeah, that was great, dude. That, that was, was good, good, right? That was good, Look man. That. Nice yes. job, bro. All right. All right. We tried uh, Jennifer Gray Warren's telephone the first Uh-oh. time, and uh, she said uh, in a text that uh, she answered, but nobody was there. Well, let's try take number two, shall we? Let's do it. Jen, are you on the telephone? Hello, Jen. Are you on the telly? I don't think so. I hear cricket. Okay. We, J- I hear well, something in the background. No? No, that is someone banging a hammer on something. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, if Jen, we can't get yeah. Jen, I know Captain Deb Dale is always uh, standing by, ready Captain to go. Deb. Right? Is Captain Deb there? Deb? Howdy doody. Yee haw, boys. How's it going? Hi, hi, De- Captain Deb. How hi, you Captain doing? Deb. She's our favorite lady down there. How are you guys? Yeah, it's it's a beautiful day down here in Key Largo, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. I called Captain Deb last night, and she cracked me up because she said she was having a couple of cocktails at sunset. All right. She was enjoying her wine. Okay. And uh, an interesting combination. She goes, uh, I may do a little te- tequila with the wine. Huh? Yeah. Whoa. And I said, Deb, really? Those two together? She goes, yeah. W- what's the big deal, Eric? Wow. <laughs> Deb, I would be um, <laughs> comatose. Well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was that combination, Deb? Was it tasty? Man. Yeah, I mean, I can get up and, and go to work at six o'clock in the morning. Absolutely not. Nah, it's it's um, it's something you have to do on here in the Keys sometimes, and and uh, you never know. You can get those combinations, kind of like when you're out there fishing. You just try something new every once in a while. You never know what you might get. So. Well, yeah, I'm just having a little fun, and um, hey Deb, there's there's nothing worse. Than, I mean, that con- concoction sounds so much better than compared that to jo- Joe's mushroom juice he brought on the set that one time. Oh, oh that, mu- that, that mushroom oh drink, man, that stuff was great. That, that, put, that, stuff, Joe. that put Where's me in the loo, man. Yeah, he he got all bug eyed, and he was like, he, uh, you he was do, talking that faster stuff, than his thoughts were. That like, stuff moving. just knocked it me did, out. It man. didn't affect me at all. Yeah, Stephen drank. I thought it was good. We liked it here, so we had no problems with. It. I gotta send Captain Deb some. Whatever, she ain't drinking that crap. She'll love it. Whatever. I don't know. I might drink it. You never know. Oh, <laughs> it's not. Ba- it's not bad at all. So, all right, let's get on point, man. Deb, what's the fish like in the Keys this last week overall? Well, the wind blew very hard. Ah, yeah. about all week. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So about three days of just nonstop wind, and uh, that's the days to go shrimping. And I did go bone fishing one evening. Had a good time there. Um, get to go bone fishing this evening, have a charter um, on my small boat um, doing that and um, for a sunset. And it's going to be beautiful here the next four days. And then we got a little front coming in on Tuesday night. And um, so I definitely, definitely going to get out there and fish the next four days. Nice. All right, Deb. So, uh, wind the- blue, couldn't go out and fish too much. Yeah. Uh, you know, what happens. are you hearing, Captain Deb? How's, how's like the sailfish bite and stuff there? Well, yesterday um, I talked to a captain out of uh, Key Largo, um, and he's running the No Fear, and they caught a 40-pound mahi. Oh, nice. Um, a nice. mahu, um, a couple other, you know, nice mahi. So, you know, with those east winds that we had and that big push of winds, yeah. it did bring some fish in. So I'm looking forward to today and looking at the fishing reports of today because the wind is down okay. um, and seeing, seeing what's going to happen. But... Yeah, it's going to be good this week. I'm I'm really excited about being out there. Cool. Well, Deb, we're glad you're back on the water fishing. Catch them up today. Do your thing. And uh, we'd love to have you back on the set the, the time you came join us on the show. Oh, that was great. One of those record setting Yeah, views yeah she was today. awesome. Uh, you were great. So come back and see us again. We love you. We love you to death. Yeah, that sounds fun. Hey, when I turned on, when I turned on the... Uh, 
the feed this morning. I was wondering if I was going to a corporate event or something. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Eric. Uh, she's the best. Yeah, but you know what? The yeah. suit suits you. So, you know, just keep. Thank you. Up. What do you think of the shoulder pads? <laughs> There's not shoulder pads, damn it. It's, it's They're like 80. Damn, is this more ah! like. Deb, is this more like a this is like this is a one year old that. suit, man? Yeah. Deb, is this more like a corporate yeah. event or like a bad funeral? <laughs> no, it's more like a corporate office kind of. Okay, kinda. okay. Thanks, Deb, for having me back. Say funeral. You're, you're, I wouldn't say funeral. Would you rent the suit from the place he got his from, Deb? Oh God! Uh, no, nah, I go get my money back. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I like it on there. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Deb. Have a nice day. Okay. Talk Bye to you next you. weekend. Oh, Bye, you're the baby. best. All right. Bye. Thank you. Did I say I love her? Oh, you guys love when she jams me, man. Hey, Jennifer Gray is on the phone. Okay. She's holding, guys. She's, cool. got, she's back. All okay. Right. Jen, sorry about the snafu we had on the phone there, kiddo. But, uh, good morning, Jennifer Gray Warren. How are you? Hi, Jen. Good morning. How's it going? Jen, it was great. You missed us last weekend. We did a show on the set last weekend outdoors, and I tell you the truth, I mean, you got to give us some cred. It was blowing, and it was cold as hell I down know. here, man. It was Come freezing. on. Oh, I know. I was there. I was in town for a wedding. Oh, were you? Friend. No kidding. It was freezing, yes. So, you, you, you felt that nip, too? I mean, though you're, you're in Atlanta, you get pretty chilly there. You thought it was cold down here as well, right? No, I did. It was it was it was pretty chilly. Indeed. I will I will <laughs> give you credit. Yeah. <laughs> so the North I've still watched these reports, man. The North Joe as you've seen on the news. Yeah. He's under just a shellacking with this winter blow in, Jen. It's it's crazy, it's isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Um I feel like the, the cold has taken a firm grip. Normally like we get these cold blasts and then it'll kind of even out, but I feel like it's just kind of stayed this year and i'm ready i'm ready for it to go <laughs> right. oh see so are you over the cold weather in atlanta with the kids are all over the cold too i mean you're done with the bundling and dressing warm and all yeah that i mean they it. never they never get over the cold but i definitely get over the cold uh for sure i feel like they're just um i don't know i feel like they're robots like they never <laughs> they never get cold <laughs> now jen i'm thinking up in atlanta do you guys have like a fireplace in your home yeah. Oh, I'm gonna see. That's, to me, that's one of the best things about having cold yeah. weather up there. Light that fireplace, Joe. I miss Joe. that. I, I miss you that. had one of those in Jersey, right? Jersey, yeah. That's the coolest effect, man. I've, I've never been around a fireplace very often in my entire life growing up down here. Yeah. So having a fireplace on a cold night it's, must be kind of neat. great, man. Yeah, right? You sit there yeah. with your little nice. cocktail. Early morning. Yeah. Still dark outside. Have your coffee and a fire. It's nice. Nice. Can't beat it, really. Well, it's not a yeah. bad looking weather day, Jen, down here. It's kind of cool, about 68 degrees or 70 right now at the moment, and uh, we're seeing a decent weekend coming up, or what? Yeah, I think you're going to have a good one. Um, you have a 40% chance of showers today, but otherwise mostly sunny with a high near 77. East, southeast winds 5 to 10, becoming northeast 10 to 20 in the afternoon. Okay. These 2 to 3 feet, intercoastal waters choppy in exposed areas, and then tomorrow, 20% chance of showers. Mostly sunny, high near 77. East, southeast winds around 10 knots. These two to three feet along the coast, three to five, occasional six in the Gulf Stream. Mm -hmm. Intercoastal waters, the light top. In the Keys today, nice, 20% chance of showers. Mostly sunny, high near 80. Southeast winds, 10 knots, becoming northeast to east. In the afternoon, uh, these one to two feet near short waters, light chop. Tomorrow, slight chance of showers, mostly sunny, high near 79. Northeast to east winds near 10. Cool. These one to two feet near shore waters, a light chop. And in Florida Bay, today, east winds near five knots. Bay water smooth, isolated showers. And tomorrow, northeast to east winds near 10 knots. Bay water's a light chop with isolated showers. Hey, Jen, we'll take that one. We'll yeah. take it. I got one yeah. question for Jen. Hurry. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Jen, um, is that front that's up, like affecting the whole United States, is that going to eventually get to us? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, you, you know, as they come down to you guys, they never have quite the punch that they had um, up north. But right. yeah, I mean, I think your temperatures are going to cool off a little bit. Okay. Um, let's see, Tuesday into Wednesday, you take a couple of degree drop. Um, highs will be in the low 70s versus mid 70s. So it's not like huge. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Um, not as cold as the previous ones we'll you've had. It. Take it. But, yeah, you'll have a little bit of a drop. Okay. Love it. Love it. Jen, thanks so much. Have a warm, uh, warm as you can weekend up in Atlanta. And yeah. <laughs> stay stay warm, kiddos. Thanks, Jen. All right. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> All right. So, take a break. Come back with the toy chest, Joe. A fun little thing to talk about here, Let's man. Let's do it. Yeah. 743, Fox Sports 940. Ah!
You got a pile. So, make sure what I'm talking about today. Let's take a look at this thing real quick. I have it on my thing, my phone. We have uh, Ty Smith saying, You guys are too damn funny. Love the show. Thank you there, Ty. Love you, Ty. We got. I'm more to Ty. Uh, Dave Starkley, good show with a thumbs up. Thank you got some. You know, it's funny. You got different guys uh, responding on your feed than I do. I know exactly. Yeah, because he has friends. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're such an a hole, man. I swear you are, Mister A hole to you. Okay, uh, Jack Wad. Um. Yeah, you have like. I have different comments on mine. I know you do. Like Weird. Eric, where's the funeral? <laughs> 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 Eric, Poor guy. Eric, could you get your money back on the suit? Oh, my gosh. That's great. You okay. are getting just slacked. Slacked, yeah. man. You, know, you this, knew it. You this knew thing this I'm was doing, I went and got a, a nice new haircut. I'm all clean, and, you know, I'm, I'm tight, oh, man. Oh, wait. Wait, what? You just reminded me. What about it? I'm a little blonder than what usual? What did you do with your hair? I just and got, you posted it. I got it. some of the gray out, man. That's all. Oh, yeah, pictures of him like, like uh, uh, tuning in another station from Uranus or Mars or Listen, something. Listen, man, I'm not afraid to put it out there, man, okay? If I'm, I'm sitting in a chair with a head, uh, head full of aluminum foil, I'm not afraid to show that. And I always say it's a glory side, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Did you like my comment yeah. from Jurassic Park? Yeah, when Alan Grant saw, like, the dinosaurs and he's, like, he's fumbling his glasses? Such a jackass. I, I, I just your hair is blonder. It, I, I, it's it, uh, it's the shimmering in the sun, like Joe. Right, it's catching it. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, by the way, happy bladed birthday to you, man. Thank you. You had a birthday on January thirty first, correct? Yes. Yeah. And you turn. Oh, hey, Penny. Uh, don't bite my tie. Here, here, take that. Uh, so thirty nine. It's over. Mom said you looked handsome, and you do. From Captain Deb Deo, just came over the phone. Oh gosh. And she's a sweetheart. Go. She's got my back. Here but no, go. man, you had a birthday, dude. So uh, I'm guessing, what are you still uh, under under thirty? Yes, I'm. Uh, I turned twenty nine. <laughs> Feels good. I how old are you really, man? Come on, what's 39. your age? Thirty nine. Thirty nine. Thirty nine. Really? Even though everyone says I'm a year ahead, so my mom. <laughs> you don't look it, man. My mom's been it. saying I've been forty for three years. No, so. you, you don't look it, dude. Thank you. You don't look I it appreciate at all. that. No, thirty nine is um, scary. But you know it's crazy, man. Hitting, like for me, hitting forty was the big one. 50 was the big one. Right. 60 was the tragic one. Because that puts me very close to mortuary time to me in my life. I would say 50 would be the scariest, right? Because yeah. that's when you're really kind of like, it's you, getting... You know that the end of your life is maybe it's nearer, approaching. Approaching. Yeah. The golden years. Right. Or the bad years. It depends on how well you take care of yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. It's, so, uh, you're almost I, 40, bro. Yeah. Scary. Nah, you're really It's fine. scary. It really is. You're a healthy guy, man, you know? I know, but it's just scary. You know? Like All right, so let me make sure I have the toy chest thing uh, lined up here, what we're talking about this morning. This is a very cool uh, thing. It's How can you say 50 years old is like the end of your life? People are living a lot longer nowadays. So I'm just well, no, saying, that's, I'm just that's, just, that's just wrong. No, no, no. We're, we're saying we, 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 it's we, like we, the end of the road. No, we realize we're mortal. At fifty, before anything under fifty, Joe, we're immortal. Yeah, you're, you're nothing's going to harm us. Right, okay? you're a young. Yeah, you're a young guy. You'll go out there and, and, and barefoot ski or jump off a freaking bungee cord or mm -hmm. whatever, man. You know what I mean? After fifty, you may not want to do a bungee jump. Right. Right. Or jump out of a plane and and get on a parachute. I don't know. Unless you're Tom Cruise, we're well, just a little bit more wiser. That's all. <laughs> well, Stephen, you're how old are you? Old. Are you really? Yeah. I thought you were in your 40s. Are you? No. Wow. Six, See, he's holding up. He's holding up well. No, I'm not this. <laughs> oh, he's just trying to get me back now. It's all good. Oh! <laughs> all right. What are we doing here? Oh, toy uh, chest. <clears throat> this, are we live yet? This whole thing here. Good luck. All right. Okay. That's, uh... When you see the video on the Facebook stream, you'll know. You got to cool read the whole thing? No, I'm just giving out some of the oh, just some of the highlights. Okay, okay, what the hell the thing damn thing does, and right. why you should buy one. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this show will never get over quick enough. It's I've had I haven't get beat up all freaking morning. No, time. you have it. it Everyone loves you. You've been busting my nuts all morning long. No dude. way. I I complimented your suit. Uh, the only I, thing I, that I, I, I the only thing that I said was, was that the shoulder padding. It's just a little much. That's all. 
It's, other than that, it's good. Is it a wake and you know funeral? Then, then go tell Calvin Klein, who made this damn thing, that he's doing too much padding I, in his shoulder. Okay? I will. I'm okay. going to say, yo, Calvin, we got a yo, problem. Hey, Calvin. You Hi, Penny. Hey. Oh, she's just, just dismantling these carrots, dude. Penny is... You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Catch all the fish. Drink all the beer. Hang the dad. With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly. Fisherman Show. Yeah, time to wrap this baby up. Open up that Nautical Ventures toy chest like we do every weekend. Joe, let's do it. Steven, if you would, bro, open that bed boy up. There, I hear it. Break it open. All kinds of cool things are popping out. Oh. And today, this is a very cool thing. Roger Moore just secured the rights to this bad boy toy. It's called the Aqua Cart, Joe. Oh. It's basically a water go kart. Let's with, look at this thing. With, with like driving one of those bad boys. It looks like a like a yeah. It looks like a bumper cart, a uh, water cart, man. That you would race around. Looks like these guys are having a lot of fun with this thing. It's a, they had a racer, but the thing about this thing is jet powered with a Rotex 900 ACE power plant. You've got the foot as opposed to a hand throttle, Joe. Right. When you like driving a go kart, it's got the foot operated throttle, which I think is very cool. That's man. cool. Shifting for neutral, forward, and reverse is done. Digital gauge cluster. Adjustable steering, adjustable seat, wow. onboard dry storage. You got custom graphics, uh, various seat sizes. It's cool. It's a really cool toy. And again, you can customize it by doing various things to it to make it your own. But uh, I'm looking at the the video, and they're having these 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 uh, aqua cart races, which is really cool, man. Right. I can see you taking that bad boy offshore, you know, and jumping some waves with it. <laughs> Maybe you go fishing that. off of it too. Fish put a rod deck. holder on it. Go up down near the coastal waterway, have a blast, you know, and just, and just you know, go at it, man. Yeah, it's like it's like a beefier uh, wave runner almost. Kind right? of like that, yeah, yeah. And at the Miami National Boat Show, they're going to have their own booth out there. Oh, cool. And you can see this thing up close to personal and uh, touch one, feel one, maybe even demo drive one. But I'll tell you where you find these bad boys. <laughs> Nautical, Ventures. Nautical Ventures. It's just amazing to me. What Mr. Moore, Roger Moore does, 007 himself, yeah. he sees something that's really cool and unique, he brings it in yeah. and says, we'll see if it's a hit or a miss. Yeah. But he's willing to put it out there to see whether the public will actually latch onto it. And almost everything he's brought in is selling it's out. true. Yeah. By the way, and, and you if you haven't been by the uh, new sh- stores, the two stores, the one for the Yaks, which I know Joe loves, yeah. and the other one for uh, the bigger boats. By the way, one of my favorite boats that uh, we don't talk about here that Nautical Venture has is those Axopars. Oh my gosh, I yeah. love the way those boats look, man. That's yeah. their bread and butter candy seller, man. I like the Selfish boats. Selfish boat. Now that's that's our that's great, a, that's, that's a good our, boat as well too. That's yep. our phenomenal sponsor. They make a great boat. I've been out yeah. there two or three times doing some fishing videos. Nice. I know them well. But again, uh, the Aqua Cart was our featured toy this weekend. Very cool. And uh, do something nice for somebody and buy somebody one. So we'll wrap it up here, Joe, real quick. Yeah. Um, you had a great tournament last weekend. Definitely. Successful tournament. I know you had some challenges getting that thing pulled off with the city of Pablo Beach fighting yeah. you like tooth and nail, yeah. being a pain in the ass that they want to be. Yeah. But you fought them and you won. Hey, we were able to pull it off. We did the tournament. I, I, I can't thank all the anglers and sponsors enough, um, especially a lot of the out-of-state guys that come in, the guy, the group from Jacksonville that we had. Yep. Um, you guys are great. You're you're the backbone of this tournament, and uh, we just can't wait to, to, to keep going all year. I mean, we got three more tournaments What's coming next? up. What's the next one? We got the Exotic Bass Roundup, and that's uh, going to be in uh, late April, the 23rd, I believe. To the second and, annual, and, though, right? Yeah, that'll be our second annual for that. So we got a lot of new stuff planned for that one. And then that's going to be at Lake Ida Park. And then we have uh, the Summer Slam Series, which right. is our big mama for the year. Yep. And I cannot wait for that because <laughs> that one we should hopefully be back to that's normal. That's when you're on stage rocking. you got a oh, yeah. band that's, jam that's and the tunes. The you're up there on the mic doing 
doing the Joe Joe right. Hester crazy right. stuff. We got the big crowd that comes. We got other events involved with that. A lot so of hot babes go to that. Yeah, one, by the way. I, I'm ex- oh, I'm man. excited. Yeah, so buddy. hopefully we get a lot of our fans of the show out for that and have a good time. It'll be good. <laughs> It'll be good. So I, I and last thing I just want to congratulate the winners of the tournament. Sure, man. Uh, Brian Nelly won five thousand dollars from Railblazer and won a beautiful customized uh, sailfish rod from Powercore Custom Rods. Outstanding. And then you got Brian Arnold. They got second place. He won two thousand dollars from Nautical Ventures. Beautiful. And an awesome Pro Yacker fish bag, uh, which are designed perfectly for your kayak, and you can just throw those fish right in there. And then we have a uh, Roy Makota. Um, I, I butchered his last name. I always do that. But Roy did a phenomenal job. He's an, he's been another consistent angler in our series, and he shattered the mahi mahi uh, division for that tournament. Okay. Uh, that's in its eighth year, and he got a nineteen point one pound mahi mahi and another beautiful. I think he got like another sixteen pounder. Yeah, um, but he did awesome for the tournament, and he won five hundred dollars from Nautical Ventures. So we, we gotta go, great. Joe. Yep. We, we Sorry, go. guys. All right. Good boop, job. Boop, boop. Um, I'm off to do my interview after the show. Hopefully, uh, good luck, bud. I'll, I'll get some good news from why I dressed up the way I did. He's really going to a bar mitzvah. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I hope that this goes well. If it doesn't go, not a big deal. If it goes well, we'll see what happens. But hey, Joe, great show, bro. As always, great show. And remember, in the interview, be yourself. That's always the key, man. Number one. The key. Back in the studio, Ricardo, thank you very much. The podcast is up later on at Nautical Ventures, and iHeart will be up later on today. The show uh, will be rolling on Facebook all the time. Streamers, thanks for watching very much. We love you guys. Stephen J. Gray, last to you, man. Thank you, brother, man. You're always a blast. Yes, sir. Okay? And you guys want sports talk all day long, baby. It's right here. Stick it right where you got it. Fox Sports. Shush up. 940, baby. (laughs) We love you. (laughs) Bye.